Do you think we could listen to the Haas and Hingle versus Dylan Burns and Destiny debate while you play? It's really funny. Uh, Please do it. The debate is hilarious. Okay, is the debate hilarious in any kind of novel or engaging way? Or is it hilarious because Haas just blows out his microphone the entire time while Destiny finds funny words to call him? I just I've seen that that debate so many times. This is why this is why I find those people boring. There's like nothing. There's nothing. Yeah, apparently Hinkle backtalked Haas at some point. That's what I heard, which is funny given how much of a worm. The bait is only for the first two hours. Okay, you know what? Fine, sure. You lie? All, all, you do, all you could do is turn for D you know, platforming. So censorship and D platforming is all you have. But what when I actually told about? you to come if, through, if, if put we your outside, money where your mouth we is, we and fall, fall, do we something, you don't do shit because you you're a you I tell you to put your money where your mouth is, one feet away from you, and you don't do shit because you're a See, you're not gonna do shit, right even here. though I disrespect you. you this is great. You wanna talk about man. scheduling something lose to months in advance man. or some shit? Like I give a f Tyson I'm right Fury, there, Dylan. You don't Vladimir do shit. Klitschko, okay? Then you, oh, you're, you're a Karen. Tyson you're a Tarleton. This is great. You're, you're not a man. You're, you're not a man. You're a Karen and a Tarleton. So there was because no they already showed so This is fantastic. Please, Jesus Christ. So the reason why a lot of people, including like Crimean Tartars and others, boycotted They already declared independence! The reason why This is good. You're gonna learn a lesson today, the chat. Reason why they had already They had already declared James. independence before James, I can't. I can't do it, man. Hey everybody, tonight we're debating the war in Ukraine and we are starting right now. With Infrared and Jackson's opening statement, thank you so much gentlemen for being with us. The floor is all yours. Okay, so when it comes to the okay, formation chat. of, this is the first context I want to establish. When it comes to the formation of military alliances, uh, this actually extends beyond the bounds of the sovereignty within a state's own territory. Uh, countries okay, have an obligation to be cognizant of the geopolitical, geographic, and historical and civilizational realities that their own sovereignty is situated within. And this is specifically um, recognized by um, organizations, organizations like the OSCE, according to which Ukraine being a member, one country, according to its founding document at least, one country's security cannot be strengthened at the expense of the security of another state. So what the OSCE establishes is that it's not just that no states stagger? are just completely, no totally no free stagger. to just do whatever they want in terms of making security alliances and in terms of how they construct their militaries and position themselves geopolitically. There's a very delicate balance of power and security within Europe and everyone who's committed to actually preserving long term. Wait, what was this person in chat? What? Lawrence 22. Sorry, Vosh, as right wingers go, I'm pretty moderate slash liberal. I'm pro LGBTQ rights, but I support the don't say gay bill because it's really just saying convos about gender slash sexuality are unnecessary at the primary school ages. What do you have like, do you want to like rape a child? I don't understand. What's wrong with sex education at primary school ages? It's like a normal thing. I don't, I don't get it. What, like, what's wrong with mentioning it? Like, what's the harm? Oh shit, sorting algorithms. Thank you for the 20 gifted tier 1 subs. No more white names. Get them out. Okay, we gotta actually pay attention to this game. We're gonna die over and over. White names back in. Oh. Oh, killed the dog. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh. What? Oh, wait. I didn't realize there was so much shit in this castle that I hadn't explored. Let me get behind you. 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 I want to get behind you. Backstab. Damn it. Easy. Easy. Clap. So we're not watching the shouting match? I didn't know. Ah! I don't know why I thought that killed him. Okay. 
I didn't know if that person would respond, the person in chat. Feeling feisty. Getting angry. Okay. Time. Term peace, uh, which is what the OSCE is actually about, uh, has to be rec recognized the fact that there needs to be a balance huh. of security. There needs to be a security architecture that ensures that um, there is a fair distribution of security across the continent. When this balance is tipped in one direction or the other, it creates a situation of instability and uh, geopolitical uncertainty and leads to the conditions that ultimately could lead to, to war and to conflict. So one has to keep this in mind when one is bringing up the issue of uh, the sovereignty of states. States should have a right to self-determination. Okay. And states uh, should have the right to be sovereign, but they should also be cognizant of the geopolitical and geographic realities within which they reside uh, so as to not create circumstances that upset the balance of security and the security. Okay, I have to say, why am I, in, in Destiny's community, why am I the person who got a rap for misusing big words to sound smart when Haas is a person who exists? This motherfucker, oh, like, the, the, the pretense of intellectual engagement falls off so quickly the moment he gets even a little bit angry. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Kingsford, thank you so much for the tier four sub. Thank you. You're now a, a premium member of the uh, of the Vosh experience. I really appreciate the uh, uh, kindness. Big words make head hurting. Um, well, in his case, it's big words and big volume. Pretty architecture. So uh, I'll give it to Jackson now. Yeah, so the next point that I think is really important is to actually, and I would like to uh, hear Dylan and Destiny respond to this when they talk, is to address when did this conflict begin, or if, you know, war, when did this war begin? The war began, and they refused to call it a war. Ukraine, the Ukrainian government refused to call it a war for eight years because they wanted to have IMF loans, and you can't give IMF loans to a country that's at war. But the war began after the 2014 coup that took place uh, on the heels of the uh, Maidan protests, which began in all honesty uh, without U.S. backing. I mean, there was a, a plurality of people within uh, Ukraine oh my that God, were he frustrated admitted. over the fact that, uh, you know, there was not going to be EU membership for Ukraine. Um, and well, I guess there was going to be a delay in the decision. Um, and those protests began, and then eventually they decided that they were not going to take the unfair, uh, you know, deal that the EU offered them. Um, they knew that these neoliberal policies that would be inflicted upon them, upon uh, the EU, EU deal would have hurt them much more than uh, opening up trade partnerships more with Russia would have helped them. Um, so upon these protests, the U.S., uh, you know, began to... This is where I infiltrate came the movement. Uh, U.S. politicians began, uh, you know, working with uh, agencies on the ground, U.S. front agencies on the ground, like the National Endowment for Democracy. Uh, Victoria Newland wow, even boasted about the fact that, you know, they funneled five, I think it was $5 billion. We'll discuss the details of the U.S. involvement in the coup uh, later on in the debate, I'm sure. Uh, but lots of money came in to these U.S. agencies on the ground to actually hijack the Maidan protests. Upon hijacking the Maidan protests, uh, violence broke out. Um, this was dissimilar to the 2004 color revolution that the U.S. also played a part in uh, <laughs> surrounding the 2004 elections, which Yanukovych was also involved in. Initially reported that he won, uh, though international Western aligned uh, agencies claimed that these elections were marred with uh, with uh, corruption and discrepancies and irregularities in the vote. The uh, election was overturned then, and um, you know Yanukovych didn't see the presidency until his uh, second run. But oh um, yeah, but I don't hand those out. After being elected, you, you know, ask one of the uh, during these Maidan protests, U.S. In became involved. They led a coup upon the blue democratic name. I don't even elected know government the of Yanukovych, and after that, uh, you know, Soon, coup on the democratically elected government of Yanukovych. Name. 
we saw the eight year war begin. Um, and that's the next point that I want to make. No, I don't want it's hints. It's insane Chat. to assume that uh, this war began, you know, within the past two weeks. Everyone knows that there was shelling, there was fighting in the Donbass region. Uh, the question is, when did that Donbass. begin? It began directly after the coup, uh, thanks to the Western aligned leader that was put into power. Now, these Western aligned leaders that were put into power uh, have deep ties to the, you know, nationalist far right, uh, you know, uh, factions, radical factions within both the Ukrainian military and the Ukrainian uh, political apparatus. Uh, there's over 80 far right, you know, uh, military okay. militias and battalions within Ukraine. Some of the most notable uh, include, of course, the Azov Battalion, which is one of the primary forces that has been waging uh, asymmetrical warfare upon the people of Donetsk and Luhansk. Yeah, it does sound like a, a shitty ninth grade presentation. To That's recognize true. recognize their independence, um, which was not, uh, which was not uh, you know, granted by Russia or Ukraine or Western states uh, for many years, uh, though Vladimir Putin did come out and say that he respected the legality or the legality, the outcome of the elections, but he didn't actually recognize them as independent <gasps> states at the time. You will break it uh, up until you know just this month. So, all in all, this conflict didn't begin uh, this week. It began during the Maidan coup. Um, asymmetrical warfare was waged against the people of Donetsk and Luhansk in the past three years of the conflict, which is. All I have been able to find data for, maybe Dylan or Destiny can provide more evidence, but uh, according to the United Nations, 81.4% of the civilian Man. casualties in the Donbass war uh, came on the side of the Donbass, civilians dying there. Uh, and at the end of the day, uh, Russia, you know, was very, very restrained. They tried to engage in peace deals surrounding the Minsk Accord and bring peace to the region. Uh, like it or not, think it's fair or not, he did do that for eight years. Um, and in that entire time, everything I just mentioned was taking place. And these Western aligned leaders that controlled the government for different stretches of time over these, uh, over this, over this period, um, have made a continued Almost. effort to try and join NATO, which Vladimir Putin has continuously said, and I agree, would be a direct threat to their security. You got it. Thank you very much for those openings, Infrared and Jackson Hinkle. Want to let you know, folks, if it's your first time here at Modern Day Debate, we are a neutral platform hosting debates on science, religion, and politics. And second, before I kick it over to Destiny and hey. for their opening, if you haven't have a question, feel free to fire it into the old live chat. 100% super chats tonight are going to worldwide orphans and you can also tag me with at modern day debate in the live chat to submit a question as well thanks so much destiny and dylan for being with us the floor is all yours for your openings as well so putin has been saying it's been quoted as saying it said multiple times that the greatest geopolitical catastrophe in the last century has been the collapse of the soviet union i think if we look at the actions of putin not just in Ukraine, but in other countries and other states within Russia around the world. I think we can see that right. Putin's goal is to rebuild some sort of new body that resembles the lost Soviet Union. Whether that's going to be the Union state that includes Belarus, Russia, and perhaps some future Ukraine or not remains to be seen based on how well the Ukrainians can resist Russian aggression. But it seems pretty clear that Putin has a huge drive to rebuild what he sees as one of the- Okay, um, Salem, thanks for your first up. I haven't tried any companions of the, of the Soviet Union. I want to though. The idea that, uh, in, in terms of individual claims, I guess we'll start going through the history, but I mean, almost everything you said is, is either half wrong oh, or no, just it's completely not funny, wrong. Right the idea that y Europe was offering them an unfair deal, one of the biggest reasons why they required that EU deal was yes, because know. Russia themselves began to put blockades on certain imports for Ukraine, just because they thought that the president was looking towards the European Union for a deal. Um, the idea that the Russian deal was better when the European deal would have just allowed them access to the markets while the Russian deal was literally a um, an exclusive deal that would have forbade them from trading into other markets is hilariously stupid. Um, the idea that this conflict began in 2014 is also just completely wrong. There have been foreign policy huge. experts, I can find papers back since 2010, claiming that Crimea was under threat of invasion from Russia. Oh God, wait, invaded. I rested. Russia oh no, I shouldn't have done that. consistently working with disinformation campaigns among actual military aid to places like Donbass or Crimea 
um, since at least 2010, if not earlier. There's been a long and a rich history of corruption in Ukraine, whether we're talking about people that used to actually be in the Soviet party that became leaders of Ukraine, or we're talking about people that more or less wanted to be Putin stooges later on, like, um, <clears throat> like uh, Yanukovych or Yanukovych. Um, I guess we're going into the individual history of any of these particular things, but how do I um, summon the yeah, fishy? Uh, the, the idea right now today that Russia is somehow justified in their aggression and they're taking over of any of the Ukrainian territory, um, whether that's when they took over Crimea in 2014, whether that's the Eastern territories that they've tried to take neither. over now or the rest of Ukraine that we're trying to take over. I think it's just absolutely absurd. Uh, I would echo something that Haas said at the very beginning of the debate that one country's security cannot be increased at the expense of another. That's a hilarious statement coming from somebody trying to defend the neo-imperialism of the wannabe Soviet Union. Uh, and I'm curious how you guys will defend this in the conversation coming forward. Okay, so I guess the best thing to do would be start with, um, I guess I'll start in 2004, since I know more about like recent Ukrainian history. So the Orange Revolution, which uh, I respect the Ukrainian people for taking power into their own hands to stop an election that was stolen, as was confirmed by the Ukrainian court system in 2004, and you, we call it a coup, or it was a coup of Viktor Yanukovych. What was failed to mention is that after the Gosh, Ukrainian so courts decided that there was large-scale fraud, and MP, thanks to Tier Three Sub, I might turn the debate off, but not yet. Is that there was a revote? So far, and so after good. After the revote was done, once international monitors were now involved in the situation, uh, that's when Viktor Yanukovych lost the 2004 election. And so the Orange Revolution, that is usually uh, cited here as a coup. What is not mentioned is just like in the 2014 what? What? coup, there is an election after both of these instances. In 2004, there was a revote, and in 2014, after Viktor Yanukovych Strategy. was impeached, he then fled the country, and there was another democratic election where somebody was democratically elected. There was also another election in 2019 where Zelensky won with about 73% of the vote. Uh, I respect the Ukrainian people and taking the power in their own hands to take back their democracy in both instances. I would also like to talk about, uh, we're talking about, I know both of these people uh, care about sovereignty a lot here. Uh, in both instances, both in 2004 and 2014 and before it, the Russian state has meddled in the affairs of Ukraine on multiple occasions, fomenting corruption, uh, directly getting involved in elections, and directly getting involved with Ukrainian politicians and basically sponsoring them on behalf of the state. They have gotten Over. involved in the affairs of Ukraine, and it's not that surprising that you're going to see protests against politicians like Viktor Yanukovych, and you're going to see the Orange Revolution in 2004 when a foreign state meddles in the internal affairs of another state. So it's strange for me to hear all this concern about America uh, interfering in the internal affairs of the Ukrainian government in 2014, when there was so much of it Didn't going move. on ever since I the creation him. of, uh, ever since Ukraine voted with over 90% of the vote to separate from Russia in the early 1990s. I would also like to cite, since it hasn't been brought up by anyone, uh, that Russia guaranteed in 1994 in the Budapest Memorandum to not invade uh, Ukraine after it gave up its uh. nuclear weapons and to respect the nation's territorial integrity. I would also say the spirit of that was also violated when they meddled in the internal affairs of Ukraine in both 2004, 2014, and many other instances. Uh, besides that, I heard a lot about concern about the far right, uh, but I heard no concern about, for example, the Russian uh, National Unity Movement, which is a, a Russian neo-Nazi political and uh, militia group that is active under the arm of the Donetsk People's Republic. They are a neo-Nazi militia that has been Curious. fighting on behalf of the Donetsk People's Republic for a very, very long period of time now. And so for me, this claim of denazification, or Ow. this at all having to do with denazification, is ridiculous to me. Not Fuck only this are Nazis bird. fighting on behalf of Russian-backed rebels, but there's also instances of, for example, Belarus, the leader of Belarus, which is involved in the conflict, praising Adolf Hitler, saying Germany reached I'm its peak to a under bird. Adolf Hitler. And not only that... Sorry. But also, we can talk about the Chechen fighters, for example. In Chechnya, they have put homosexuals in concentration camps. Now, I don't want to talk about the deep history of the gays in Nazi Germany, but if there's anything that is Nazi-esque, I would say putting homosexuals in concentration camp would solidly fall under that category. This doesn't even have to do with polling data when we talk about anti-Semitism between the two countries, or the fact that the Azov Battalion's political party, which is something that's cited on multiple occasions, has not won a single seat 
in Ukraine's parliament. You can add the right sector as well. The right sector has not run a single seat in Ukraine's parliament either. Yeah, now, move maybe right around here. Free finger party, there we you can go. get one seat out of 450. Move but right this idea here. of the Ukrainian Nazi state that's being taken on by the Russians Thank is you. ridiculous when the Russian government and the republics that Vladimir Putin has recognized is fighting with neo-Nazis. It's simple that the Slavs of Europe obviously have a bad memory with neo-Nazis, and it's really easy to convince your population that the enemy is bad if you call them all Nazis. If in this debate I said, uh, you know, my two opponents here are neo-Nazis, it would justify me being uh, extremely uh, terrible towards both of them because nobody likes Nazis as long as you're a normal person. Uh, we can probably get into specifics of uh, U.S. involvement in 2014. Uh, and the like labeling of as a coup, we can get uh, more into the Budapest memorandum. I'm hoping to get more into that, but I'll just end my statement there for now. I would also like to add on amend to Dylan's statement that I would like to congratulate the neo-Nazi country of Ukraine for being the first country outside of Israel to have its two highest level political positions held by Jewish people, which is an amazing achievement for a supposedly well, because, because neo-Nazi the country. Deny Wait, whoa, whoa, opening whoa, whoa, statements. Whoa, opening statements. Yeah. Oh, you, oh you my good oh, wait, 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 I mean they do you hold on one sec gentlemen prime. gentlemen if they do there, there are still five minutes left yeah. for thank you, you guys want, well now, you guys if we're gonna play yeah now we got I, factoids I, I, do, I, I do wanna throw... say okay oh, yeah, that it isn't it, yeah. that surprising that these people couldn't respect the rules of uh, rules of debate when the Russians are not respecting the rules of war in multiple cities across Ukraine. Sorry, that's almost that's as though right. they were trying to improve the security bring, bring of their own. opening own. statement right. by violating the security of ours. Bring, bring Unbelievable. I hate to. All all right. Right. So I'm going to use the mute button liberally tonight, just because I really no, seriously want won't. this to be a, a fruitful nice. conversation. So I agree. Thank Any you. last words from Destiny and Dylan in terms of that opening? Uh, last word, just for context, before we get into uh, debating context? the ethics context? of the Azov Battalion, Destiny this is a Russia? fighting force of maybe 2,500 people, of whom 10 to 20 percent are supposedly neo-Nazis, out of Ukrainian army that has over 200,000 active military personnel. The idea that Ukraine is some hotbed of neo-Nazi activity is just hilarious. Having both a prime minister and a president that are Jewish, like it, it's it's one of the biggest driving forces that Putin uses to try to push his population against Ukraine. It's absolutely pure propaganda. All right. I think we're, are we good here, Dylan? Oh, we got a few more minutes. Anything else you want to? Um, I mean, There's I so could just much. list off uh, like Russian war crimes in Ukraine uh, since they talked about that. Uh, the targeting of civilians in Kurasan, the targeting of, I mean, he's laughing, uh, demented as usual. Um, mm -hmm. Targeting of civilians all across Ukraine. Didn't uh, you address me? You're full of shit. Hold on, I can, oh! I can address all I want. Opening. My goodness, see. Oh, he's I'm, laughing. I can, I can right, comment I on you, that if I want. But we do have. There is. There are about three minutes and fifteen seconds left for Destiny. So tell them to stay on topic. Don't don't make comments directed at me, Pillsbury. I can. Over. It's a debate. It's a debate. What do you mean? Don't make comments directed at you. Do you want to just just make long speech followed after long speech? Do you think? Do you think it would be? Would it be considered a war crime when um Yushchenko? Didn't that guy say that he was really crazy? He had like agent orange poisoning or whatever <laughs> that, uh, that, that was kind of a random thing when he was running against Yushchenko. this is kind of strange i'm sorry when he's running against uh, yanukovych that was kind of weird but... a little strange i mean but you know am, Russia... am i randomly look, you know hey, hey, hey. amongst it's uh... a little strange all the hey, journalists wait, what the... Look, look at that look at that just can't stop see again more evidence that uh pro-russian uh individuals in this conflict just can't huh? follow rules of engagement hmm. anyway a civilian, uh, critical civilian infrastructure has been targeted in Maripol. Civilians have been bombed in Kurasan again and again and again. Kindergartens have been targeted. NGOs like Amnesty International have brought Ooh, up the Right use. now, in violation of the Geneva Convention, I believe that the largest nuclear reactor in the world has been hit multiple times. It was currently on That's true. That's fire happening in right Ukraine. now, actually. True. It's actually well, we don't happening. have reports yet. I think I saw an RT article saying Ukrainians themselves were shooting handguns at it in order to... Uh, foment like false did you did we check uh, to see yeah. if there was a swastika on the side of the nuclear reactor it could be a nazi nuclear reactor there was a picture of a swastika James, what, that was released by anymore. russian they're state just, media just, but, then, but it, it later came out that it was part of call of duty war war so it was we can they're, they're, okay, we rest, that was the end of our opening stream we rest our case all right want to let you know folks as mentioned, if it's your first time here, Modern Day Debate is a neutral channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as we have many more debates coming up. And want to let you know our guests are linked in the description if you'd like to hear more last about me. But not least, gentlemen, really, during this open conversation, I really do need you to work with me. It really does oh, happen that you're not speaking over each other because that, of course, thwarts our own purpose of having the debate if people can't hear people because they're speaking over each other. So we're going to go into open conversation. The floor is all yours. Well, where do we want to start, gentlemen?
Um, I'll start since you guys just went by responding to. Well, I mean, there's a, there's a whole lot to pick through there. But uh, Dylan did make the inflammatory claim that uh, that Yanukovych was impeached, and um, despite the fact that Dylan claims to be an expert on the matter, yada yada yada, foreign policy expert, he seems to have lost out the fact that Yanukovych was actually not uh, impeached per the constitutional requirements. In Ukraine, this in is fact, a, let me finish. this is this. Well, let me finish because you happen to not know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. So he needed there needed to be three fourths of the parliament to guarantee an impeachment. Three fourths, and Damn. they did not reach that. Uh, they did not get those three quarter votes in order to impeach uh, Yanukovych. And uh, the Supreme Courts and the Constitutional Courts were not involved. They did not recognize this as an impeachment. Um, I believe it was the following day or maybe two days after Yanukovych decided that his life was under threat and he was going to flee to the second largest city in Ukraine. He did. He fled by uh, by helicopter. And there was actually we'll reports. See. The reason why he fled by helicopter is because there was reports that there was going to be a uh, you know a, a act of violence upon him committed by these oh, far no. right wing forces that were trying to lead this coup, and in fact upon his um, you know his his, uh, his the series of cars that were supposed to be carrying him Liberal. off to Kharkov when he was leaving when in fact he was in a helicopter they were fired upon by snipers so uh, he was not uh, he was not impeached there was no constitutional requirement they didn't get enough votes so I don't know why you said that well number one it is a debate that is ongoing in Ukraine whether he was legally or not legally impeached this has been... <laughs> okay you can continue to okay, you continue to laugh so why did you say that so he you, was, didn't, you didn't, didn't let me, you didn't let me you didn't let me finish okay it's an ongoing constitutional debate on whether he was legally or non legally impeached obviously why is there a debate Trump... hold on yeah, let's just give debate? a minute James, or two James. just a minute or two for Dylan to respond okay it is a ongoing legal debate within Ukraine and I honestly I am going to appeal to the legal scholars in Ukraine which said that he was constitutionally impeached I'm going to appeal to them because I'm not a legal expert and I know Jackson Hinkle you're not a legal expert as well why do people say but his name correctly? I do want to bring up here for a second that this is probably the first time is I've that ever his seen correct name? I don't actually know his name. Of a regime change war. I've said Jason Hingle so many Let times. Let me appeal to the scientists. We'll give you Let 30 me. seconds. I gotta give well, you 30 seconds and then okay. we gotta kick it over. Oz, if you want to talk about science for a second, can we talk about the claim you made that the Ukrainian government was working with the American government to make bioweapons that would target Russian DNA? <laughs> Uh, there have been reports that the bio labs that are operating within Ukraine, that the Ukrainian government is allegedly solely operating, were indeed collect. This is an allegation by the Russian embassy, and I'm going to appeal. Do you have to any the, evidence? I, well, I'm going to appeal to the experts at the uh, Russian embassy. So you have the bio so weapons so, yeah, experts just, just, at I'm their embassy. To the scholars on um, military uh, what, threats, the what military scientists? apparatus of the Russian foreign ministry. I'm going to appeal to the scholars of uh, the, the Russian scholars military. scholars at the who, embassy. I trust them. I'm not an expert in. Uh, the intel that all they and have. Which and all that scientist kind of has backed that up? Any scientist? Those are Russian military ex uh, foreign relations experts, and they know what's going on. They have foreign the intel. It's the GRU. I don't which, know what which they ones. Have. Which ones? Which ones? Okay. Which legal? Then a few, which legal scholars uh, in so, particular? So my question. Yeah, yeah, so which is, legal is scholars problem? are arguing that the impeachment was legal? Then. So you're fine with me appeal? So my it's pro it's a problem for me to appeal to legal scholars, but it's not. It, it's a problem for you to do that. I'm or just applying the, the same, same standard you're applying to me. But you were laughing when I was doing that, as if it was a ridiculous yeah, thing I'm to applying do. The but same you're doing. So the the issue so the issue here is that um, by allowing things to be framed this way, Dylan is making it sound as though, wow, okay, Jesus. By framing it this way, Dylan is allowing it to sound kind of like you know, uh, Haas making those claims about Russian DNA targeting bioweapons are just as credible as Dylan making claims about the constitutional legality of an impeachment because both of them are citing experts. The difference here, of course, is what experts are being cited. Um, for the Ukraine legal matter, the people you would naturally look to to cite info on that would be, like, Ukrainian legal scholars. Whereas in the Russia situation, the people who are saying this are Russian, uh, like, state actors who have, uh, you know, a deliberate incentive to lie to promote Russia's uh, military agenda. It's about the where the information is coming from.
The issue is that Haas is framing this source as an expert when it's not really. If anything, it's the opposite of an expert. They have the most incentive to lie. Backstab. No, let me get a backstab so I can unpause the video. That would have given me the time I needed. Perfect. Doing standard. the same, so it's okay. I'm applying then. the same standard. So then we all can... I can say is that uh, the, I don't believe that the Russian uh, foreign ministry would be lying about this. So you do believe? Do okay, could, how would that be done exactly? How would you target Russian DNA with biochemical weapons? How would that work? Definitely considering. Wait, you don't, made, you don't know that. Wait, let me finish. Wait, 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 wait. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. You don't know that there's biological weapons Hold on one second. Hold on, gentlemen. Wait, do you not know that? Okay, gentlemen. Look at him. You don't know that's a finish. You guys, seriously. It, just, just to be fair to Infrared, I, I, you did ask him a question. I want to give him a chance to answer that last question, Dylan. I promise I'll kick it right back to you. Okay. Yeah, finally, uh, you don't know that that's a thing, that there's biological weapons that are being developed that sp target the specific DNA of specific peoples, that the U.S. was accusing China of developing this and vice versa for China. You don't know about that whole thing? My problem is it's very difficult for Putin on one hand to talk about the united, like, history of both Ukraine and Russia and to have the amount of, like, relations between yeah. Ukraine and... What? Yeah, right. we know they share Ukraine. DNA. Yes, so how are you going to make such a weird weapons combo. that target Ask them. Russians? But there's no, there's no evidence for this. Well, can, can we actually, can we just there's ask a no, more reasonable question? No Wait, don't you think it's, why, why do we, there's... why would we trust the Russian state media who is trying to, it's not the state like, media, fabricate. it's uh, the Russian embassy. Let's, let's, which let's is give a, which Steven is... 30 seconds and we'll kick it over to you, yeah. Brad or Jack. So, if I were to try to tell you that I know that Iraq has weapons of mass destruction because the U.S. State this Department... This was not the which, pretext for oh, Russia. Oh my God, wait, is there an echo in my... Is that my voice echoing? Because it's pivoting. This is this was not the pretext for its special operations, so it's not infrared. a relevant debate. We have to... Off topic. I promise. Destiny, I, you started this debate bitching okay, about not being this. off topic, so, well, and apparently this is off topic. We have to. So, I, I hate to do this. Just right. let us give it another 30 seconds to Destiny. <laughs> we'll come right back to infrared. Okay, I just, I don't understand because I don't think the Kremlin Gremlin would be happy if I were to cite the U.S. State Department when the United right, States look, is trying to enact no, not, like a have... unilateral war against another country. I don't think I'd be able to say, well, the United okay, States not... has this thing. You would need no, some sort of like to... external not... European Union um, body or UN body or somebody uh, looking into something. So for Russia, uh, that's James, trying not... to justify right, a unilateral invasion of a fuck... country to say that like, well, their embassy said that this was a bioweapon. I don't think that's a good, I don't think that's fair. I feel bad for you, Jax. Yeah, if this... Infrared, you gotta do me a favor. You can't if you're gonna un unmute yourself. Come on, you gotta work with me. Oh, here. but so I'm gonna I'm gonna take his insults and not uh, respond. We're not gonna play those. You can insult me, but just do it in your time. He's gonna, he's gonna sit infrared, his little bitch ass can... gnome ass down and fucking put some respect on this, or I am gonna fucking cut him off. Now, if this was the pretext for Russia's special military operation, you would be right. We would need that evidence to provide it. But that's not the fucking pretext for the special military operation. It's another type of allegation, okay, the details like of which have not been disclosed to the pu fucking public. So arguing about it is fucking pointless. You want to know my fucking opinion? I what trust that they wouldn't done? make this up because they don't need to because they have plenty of, uh, enough such as the fact that the uh, Ukrainian government is infiltrated by anti-Russian neo-Nazi forces. And we're going to talk about I that, get actually. Over there? You said that because Zelensky is there. Jewish and that there's Jewish representation in the Ukrainian government, that there couldn't possibly be neo-Nazi sympathies rampant in the Ukrainian ruling elite. I never said that there weren't neo-Nazi sympathizers. There the might question. be sympathizers, let's but that's not, that's not what your initial First allegation all, was. Was mm -hmm. Nazism solely defined Nazism? by anti-Semitism? No, it was primary. Anti-Semitism, actually, was just a subset of the pan-European supremacism that defined Nazism. They could, they were anti-Semitic because they considered... Yeah, I would actually consider anti-Semitism to be pretty core to the, to the Nazi worldview. That's actually pretty important. Now, you could argue fascism isn't inherently anti-Semitic, and I would agree with that. It's not, you know? Um, but he's saying Nazism, so. They're Jews to be foreign to Europe, right? The main thrust actually was targeted toward Russians who were considered Asiatic and Slavs to the East in general. Wait, who? And they wanted to enslave wait, and wait, who, who, who? the Russians too and the Slavs who? too. Hus, who the fuck asked? Nobody cares. Hus, this has nothing to do with what we're now, talking about. 
No, it does. Who? Because that's, the fact that Zelensky is Jewish doesn't fucking Has mean that Ukraine 30 more. can't have neo-Nazi sympathies. Stepan Bandera, who is a Nazi Hi. collaborator during World War II, is widely celebrated in Ukraine by the Ukrainian government. They're putting monuments by him. They're putting his pictures up during Maidan. He's been exonerated and he's been rehabilitated, despite the fact that he was a fucking Nazi collaborator. Now, if you can't square that consistency with the fact that Zelensky is Jewish, Stalin was you should a Nazi go as Zelensky himself. Why he's the head of a state that is celebrating a Nazi collaborator despite so, him being of the Jewish background. So are you saying that the Russian Nazis like Jews? They're fine with Jews? I mean the Ukrainian Nazis. They're fine with Jews? They're like pro-Jew Nazis? That's a question you should right. raise to them. Well, I'm, ask, the, well, I'm uh, asking you. I'm not. I'm raising the question yeah. to you. They may, they may harbor anti-Semitic views, but as far as I'm not concerned, there is nothing, in, there is nothing impossible about the idea of Western Ukrainian who are from Jewish descent to also have neo-Nazi sympathies themselves. Okay. Having Flawless. sympathies for somebody that might have been a national hero. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I don't want to interrupt. Infrared, you. infrared. We've we given you a good amount of time. We, let's kick it over to Steven and then Jackson so, after after Steven, just in mm -hmm. case Jackson has anything too. So this is like Nazi prop or not on no, Nazi propaganda. It's hard to tell the difference. This is like a Putin propaganda 101. Okay, so the original claim was that the government was full of like neo Nazis, it and is. now it's shift. It is. Infra. Am I done talking? Holy shit! Now the claim is moved all the way back to well, there is a hero that was pretty inarguably a neo Nazi that some people in Ukraine celebrate. Not this is some. a totally not some totally the whole Ukrainian to government. Totally no, it's yeah. not. It's, he's an incredibly he is an incredibly divisive figure, but there is an incredibly divisive figure even even in Western Ukraine, okay? The, the United States. Can, am I? Can I finish a fucking sentence? <laughs> Holy shit! This isn't your Spencer debate. We were gonna ramble for twelve fucking hours. I'm letting me get a fucking word in, okay? I mean, I, the, I, the, the the idea that just because somebody uh, worships some hero or some country said, "Oh, this guy was really important in our history," means did this the guy not notice the fight? Infested with neo Nazis Where is did no you less come true from? than when the United States celebrates any fucking hero that has a sordid history or has been racist or has been anti-Semitic or whatever else. The fucking United States took in Nazis after World War II in exchange for some of the scientific information they could give us. It doesn't make us Nazis. It doesn't make our government full of neo Nazi sympathizers. If you want to make the argument that Ukraine has neo Nazi sympathizers, they need to show me neo-Nazi actions happening today in Ukraine, not trying to allude to some hero that uh, that uh, a prime minister, you know, in 2010 or whatever, decided to nominate as some fucking hero because of his history in Ukraine. You need to show me something current about that. What are the neo-Nazi activities that Ukraine is taking on today? Don't tell me who was nominated as a fucking national hero. Hey, you're completely full of fucking shit. You just said that Stepan Bandera and there's was no one incidentally there's and no he, a Nazi collaborator. His whole historical significance was that he was a fucking Nazi collaborator. He has no significance outside I think, of that. I think, so no, I think I can... Uh, that guy, he's celebra- So, he is a Nazi collaborator, not taking that away. But he's mostly celebrated because of um, Ukrainian independence, right? Ukraine has spent most of its time occupied by Soviets, not by Nazis. They were only occupied by Nazis for a short time. He's, um, he was, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, he's, he's celebrated mostly for his opposition to Soviet occupation. Like, like, that's not to say that he's a good figure, only that when people celebrate him, they're celebrating the idea that he wants to liberate Ukraine, not that he is a neo-Nazi, right? It's like it's like Winston Churchill, right? Like um like Winston Churchill was a white supremacist genocidal piece of shit, but a lo most of the time when people are like, "Oh, Churchill did good." Like they're like thinking about fighting Hitler. Like obviously Churchill was a fucking monster and a historical analysis of his life shows that, but you know, that's not why, you know, I would be very surprised if someone was like, "Yeah, go Churchill." And I was like, "Oh, you know he killed 2 million Indians with a famine, right?" And the guy was like, "Yeah, that's what I like him for." Like this <laughs> that hasn't happened to me yet, but, you know. Uh, yeah, Columbus, Christopher Columbus, right? Like Christopher Columbus was a genocidal motherfucker. Like he was monstrous. But like most Americans who celebrate Columbus do so because of like the dopey child book, you know, he discovered America type deal. There, you know, it's not like people are having Columbus Day out here specifically because of the native genocide thing. Not like I think some I can US add some figure. context it's to this It's not like too. the inventor of the fucking telephone who happened to be a racist. This guy, his primary historical significance oh, was being a Nazi collaborator who betrayed the uh, Soviet Union and was uh, attacking them on behalf That's of the fucking true. Nazi. 
to That's exterminate true. the Slavic and Russian and Ukrainian peoples, uh, to create a westernized Ukrainian collaborative That's true. state. So you're completely Just full of fucking shit when it comes to that. Finally, you want to know about the neo-Nazi activities that are going on Fuck, now and have, have been going on the in the past eight years? Sure, it's the Azov Battalion, which is the vanguard of Ukraine's uh, military in the eastern Ukraine and in the Donbass, which is regularly attacking civilians, regularly shelling civilian infrastructure, regularly embarking on a campaign to slaughter and exterminate uh, the Russian peoples in eastern Ukraine. They co they committed the uh, uh, massacre of Odessa back in the early days of the Maidan. All sorts of fucking neo-Nazi oh, no. activities. They burned people alive. They've hung people. They've slaughtered yes, people. The they've made people disappear. Uh, if you want to talk about neo-Nazi activities in fucking Ukraine that are now in contemporary yeah. here, we have a whole host of fucking... Every single thing you just described, modern-day Russia. Add some context. I want to jump in and add some context. They crucified people. They crucified people. None of that was neo war crimes listen, 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 you, listen, you guys have all, been, a Nazi to to war crimes. You guys have all been talking let me get in my two cents this now, is okay? good so, this is good discourse at the end of the day the primary goal of the ideological inheritors of the organization for ukrainian nationalists which is the the vanguard of fascism in ukraine this is the ideology the radical faction within this organization especially of stefan bondera they are the I thought I was going to say Stefan Bunnell, responsible for the hundreds of thousands, leader of, of the Azov Battalion. Uh, you know, uh, Jewish, Polish, and Russian deaths that took place during World War II when Western. Oh, I have to. I, I haven't actually checked. I didn't know how many fucking people have left the stream on the shit show. I'd be amazed if we even had four thousand viewers left. Seven thousand. You people are insane. Absolutely insane. Ukrainian uh, ultranationalists and neo-Nazis were collaborating uh, with the with the actual uh, Nazis from Germany that were invading. Okay, so um, ideological inheritors of this yep, ideology, and you know, apologies for not being able to pronounce these names Fight properly, me. but Ole Tianyabuk, who is the co-founder of Oleg Svoboda. He claims that he wants to purge Ukraine of uh, Jewish people and Russians. He was ranked the fifth most anti-Semitic political leader on the planet in 2012. It just so happens he was a people's deputy in Ukraine uh, up until 2002. But um, this guy right here, uh, who, who was a co-founder of Svoboda, also co-founded this ultra-nationalist right-wing party with Andriy Parubi. He was the leader of the Euromaidan protest. He was the one that helped organize the violence that was inflicted upon the, uh, what's assumed to be roughly 49, 50 individuals who died in the uh, massacres on February 20th of 2014 at Euromaidan. Uh, he was the speaker of one of the most recent Ooh. parliaments, the chairs of one of the most recent parliaments in Ukraine. Uh, he was the leader of the society ah. to erect the Stefan Bandera Ooh. monument in Ooh. Ukraine. And he claims that Bandera was the most important Ooh. person in Ukrainian Ooh. history. So it's not just, and I could, you know, I could go down a list here. You could, Maxim Marchenko, uh, uh, this individual, uh, Zelensky replaced the civilian governor of Odessa, um, command commander of the far-right Adair uh, Battalion. You have uh, Viktor Yushchenko, who is president. He actually publicly, before leaving office, signed a decree do I go this stating way next? that uh, for an unbreakable Where spirit do I go of to heroism, get the next big self sacrifice, oh, I go here. and the struggle Boom. of the independence of Ukraine, oh, I'm granting a status of hero of Ukraine Ooh. to Stefan Bandera. You can look at uh, you I'll can look at tons later. of people. Andre Andrei Belitsky, uh, Ukrainian white nationalist. He was the co-founder of the Social National Assembly, first commander of the Azov Battalion. He's celebrated on TV shows. He was a big uh, you know, part of the Maidan protest, you can it's go like down the C. line. Don't actually many, answer. Uh, I don't want spoilers. Many, many, don't uh, say that. members of, or, or uh, deputies of the, 30 more um, people's deputies of Ukraine, Def National uh, Security and Defense Council, secretaries, uh, all of these people within the Ukrainian uh, military oh. and government have had some sort of an ideological either sympathy to or participation in, a lot of these people have, it's with so neo-Nazism. Okay, even, and this is the last thing I'll say regarding neo-Nazism. Um, yeah, this Hinkle is, a, is boring this is as shit. This is a shocking shit. video. There's At a least video Haas of, is entertaining. Uh, some of the neo-Nazis 
who helped organize and carry out the Maidan coup, who said, if not for the 8% of neo-Nazis, like the effectiveness book. of Maidan would have dropped by 90%. And these were the same people that were funded by, uh, indirectly funded by uh, U.S. agencies on the ground, uh, like the National Endowment for Democracy. Last thing I'll say yeah, is... Uh, that, that was the like, last one that you mentioned, Destiny, though, Yeah, yeah real quick. So, if, just if, as a if quick response... If the Azov are marginal, oh if the Azov God. Battalion is marginal, Please. Then why did Poroshenko in 2014 say they are our best fighters? Why did even the mainstream Western press report that as far as Ukraine's Eastern operations were concerned, the Azov Battalion was last a vital question. unit? Why did the National Guard right, of that Ukraine... that was the last question. I, 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 yeah, we can't, we can't answer 400 like, questions. They, they just a, just a, so like, I gotta give them a chance to Oh so just to, yeah, just as a, like a real quick thing, okay? Like you can go back as, as much as you want, like 20 years ago when Ukraine was barely a country for 10 years and the country was still mired in corruption and try to say, well, these guys came from these parties that were like, blah, blah, blah. Like show me anti-Semitism in Ukraine. Right, Ukraine is like one of the, the last most, parliament. Can, can, I, oh, can I, hold on, is the can, only can, hold on, hold on, hey, come on. We, there are a yeah. lot of points. Yeah, so wh th where is the anti-Semitism in Ukraine? Where is the Nazism in can't Ukraine? You can't point to the civil war the happening in the East and going, like civilians are dying. News. That's Nazism. Nazism isn't you just can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't point towards people being killed extrajudiciously, people that are being invaded and genocided, people that are being deported from their lands. Because if you want to call that Nazism, then we just have to go over to the East and look at Putin. He's the biggest fucking Nazi alive right now. So the idea that that in and of itself qualifies as anti-Semitism, when Ukraine oh. is probably the least anti-Semitic country in Europe, according to the Ukrainian Jewish Center, or uh, uh, according to the Ukrainian Jewish Encounter, at least, when you look at the fact that people in Poland are so eager and keen to take on um, people that are fleeing from Ukraine, like we, we don't see this mass persecution of Jewish people in Ukraine. We don't see any like rampant anti-Semitism in Ukraine. I, like you can go back all you want and point to like one hero that was nominated by an outgoing uh, prime minister, or you can you know point to these people President. that in the very beginning came from far right parties. But there's just no evidence today that there is this rampant anti-Semitism, this rampant Nazism in Ukraine. It doesn't exist. Where are you, where are you wait, getting wait, this no, idea wait, that the only measurement of Nazism is anti-Semitism? Okay. There are a lot of points. Nazism no, was I, also I, I, wait, Thank you very yeah. much. So there's also something that's really interesting here, and it's that Nazism seems to matter so much on one side. Nobody cares about the neo-Nazi militias fighting on side by side with Russian soldiers. Nobody even brings them up. The Russian National Unity Movement and the militias fighting on behalf of the Donetsk People's Republics. That isn't brought up. Why? Because those are inconvenient Nazis. Those are Nazis on the Russian side. People don't talk about the fact that we're talking about oh, the Nazis are bad. Why are the Nazis bad? Obviously because they put people in concentration camps and they slaughtered people and all the Dude. war crimes that he brings up. But the fact that the same people involved in putting home homosexuals in concentration camps or right now within Ukraine fighting against the Ukrainian government that isn't something of concern I heard them laugh when I talked about Belarus the Bre the Belarusian dictator Lukashenko praising Adolf Hitler yeah these things literally are done inconvenient that. facts because the problem is right and this is the fact of the matter there are Nazis fucking everywhere across this conflict but the problem is the people want to hype up the Nazis on one side to make them the Nazis because Slavic people have a terrible history with Nazis if you can make your opponent the Nazis then boom they're the bad guys anything you do against them is justified if I st I could stand here and tell you that Russia is a Nazi Nazi state. I could bring up the fact that 5% of Ukrainians believe that Jews should not be allowed to be citizens, while 15% of Russians believe that thing. Almost triple that statistic. I could bring up the Lukashenko quotes about Hitler. I could bring up the gays being put in concentration camps in, in Russian territory. I could bring up the neo-Nazis militias and say, so Russia is a Nazi state, but He's that spitting. would be dishonest. But I'm seeing that dishonesty from both of you right now trying to paint Ukraine a Nazi state, and I don't even think Jackson and Infrared got their points in order. Jackson saying that they are anti-Semitic Nazis, Infrared saying that they these are Nazis who love the Jews. I, I can't even keep I that. didn't fucking say that. <laughs> what I actually said was that the, oh, the emphasis on anti-Semitism may not be as strong as the emphasis on pan-European supremacism and racial exterminationism, and, but that's the fucking point. And moreover, the movement for national unity is there not a, at all fucking relevant oh or my prevalent God. within They're the fucking fighting. There was a way to get around to this bonfire without having to go through the castle. That is so fucking cool. I didn't notice it while I was here, but there is. You can skip the first two bosses. 
That is so fucking cool. Holy shit. It reminds me of Hollow Knight, um, where the game was designed so that there were always multiple avenues to discover the next place to go forward. Which is why Hollow Knight was one of the few Metroidvania games that rarely had that moment where, like, you get the new upgrade and you have no idea where to go next. That is so good. Unbass. They're it's fighting. No, what? Hold on. Yeah, they're nowhere near as relevant or ah. proportional to the fucking forces of the Russians that are fighting in the Donbass as is the Azov battalion. They're com they're marginal. They're completely marginal. But the they're it's Islamophobic. The Chechens are fighting. The Chechens are right now a very important part of Russia's operation right now. You think the Chechens are working alongside these uh, totally Islamophobic uh, prevalent forces? No, yes. they're not prevalent. They're fucking completely marginal. And these uh, and they if are. You, if you take no, into account not. the premise of what started this entire conflict back in 2014, the Euromaidan protests and the violence that ensued there, and the fact that it uh, was co-opted by these uh, coup leaders, uh, that were Western backed. Um, you do have to acknowledge that the effort to, uh, you know, accomplish this and the success of the movement was led in great part thanks to Andre Peruvi, um, who is the speaker of uh, one of the most recent parliaments and the cha chair of the mo one of the most speaker recent parliaments in Ukraine. Uh, this is the guy who literally sparked the entire okay. conflict. Another thing I heard you say that was even maybe uh, more damning than the fact that you falsely claimed that, uh, you know, the president was impeached when he wasn't impeached, was when you said that uh, you claimed that, or maybe it was destiny, actually. I might be, um, I might be, you know, getting my quotes wrong. One of you said uh, that Crimea was illegally invaded by Russia. I would be, I'd just be curious, like, hear your uh, thoughts on that more and whether or not you respect the will of the Crimean people who voted in a referendum overwhelmingly. The referendum that were none of the options allowed them to stay a part of Ukraine, yeah. You're tarnished, aren't you? Then perhaps you could spare some runes. Believe it or not, I studied Blinstone sorceries at the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. For a small donation, I'd be happy to share my knowledge. Ten, ten runes? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, bless you. Bless it really is a small donation. You are a true saint. My name is Tobes. Presuming Tops. you're interested, I can teach you sorceries, as promised. Only, none of them are particularly great. Glintstone Pebble, Glintstone Arc, Starlight. Okay, well, I'll come back. All right. I love my pebbles. ...to legally join the Russian Federation. 96.77% uh, voted in favor of joining the Russian Federation. Was that after the invasion? one percent yes. supported staying in just, Ukraine. Jackson, was that after Russia invaded Crimea? They held that referendum, right? I just want to get that what do you, there, right? What do you we find can talk about the specifics. Well, I, I just want to hear yes or no, wait, that, Jackson. Was that, was that, the, Russia, was that the Russian referendum they held first. after they invaded Crimea Ukraine? What do you find? Let, listen, what do you find as Crimea a Russian invasion? Because going back to 1804, True. there has no, been wait, Russian wait. troops in Crimea. The invasion of when they took over, when they invaded Crimea. You can't answer that question. I got it. Wait, wait. I got it. I got to respond. Continuously invading seconds. Ukraine, despite the fact that they have had troops there since 18, 1804, then Wait, sure, what? We'll having a military invasion, base in Crimea no, means invasion. that you're not the annexing Crimeans it? Doesn't that mean declared, the whole world belongs to America? The Russian invasion, just like the, the people Federation. in the Donbass did. Just like having, the people troops, in the Donbass having did, troops stationed in a court is not the same as taking over the entire peninsula. Separated from the Ukrainian government. What's your evidence they took over the entire peninsula? Okay. Because okay. there are plenty of videos on the ground of people what? saying uh, they are not threatening anybody. They're here peacefully. They've who, been who, here. Who, who, who has sovereignty new, right now over the Crimean new, Peninsula? I'm sorry. Can you, who, is, who, has, who owns? Favor. Who, who administers right now to the region of the Crimean Peninsula? Peninsula? Is it who the Ukrainian government? Yeah. Or is it the Russian government? It's a part of the Russian Federation since they voted. Okay. So what does it mean to the Russian oh, and they, Federation? And they voted. They voted that. Who held that referendum? Uh, the referendum was organized by the people of Crimea. <laughs> under They're who? so dishonest, it dude. It was a Russian organized referendum. It was organized by, by the Gentlemen, I got to But it actually happened. I got to interrupt everybody. Pardon my interruption. Just, just to be sure that... Jackson, did you feel like you had enough time to answer that last question from Steven? Sure. Got you. 
Okay. And then I think, Stephen, you were asking. So, a referendum that's not recognized by any other country in the world, including Ukraine, obviously. Why don't the you want to recognize that you could invade, the idea Why don't you want to recognize the referendum we rigged after we invaded Ukraine? there to see if those people that's want to stay with you or not. Happened. Even, if, not they, even if we granted that's all of that, that they did say yes, you can't just have populations referendum away parts of your country's sovereign territory to other invading nation states. That's just not how that works. You even if that was the case, even if that, I don't care what's interesting here, even if that was the case, that doesn't work that way in any other part of the world. Yeah, that's you know, not what that's what happened. Respecting, respect that that's way. Not respecting, not the, the, respecting oh. the results. Listen, listen, we're, Destiny. We're, one of the ways. I, no, no, wait, dude. They hold on. James, seriously, they can't just throw out like 50 minutes. million. I didn't talk at all. I didn't even answer your question. I didn't even get to answer his question. Let me respond to what you said. Not to mention the fact that gentlemen, I hate to do this, but I do want to say, Dylan, is there anything you want to clean up on behalf of Destiny? Because we haven't heard from you for a while. There's two things. The first thing I wanted. The first thing I wanted to bring up is that. Uh, I didn't hear from Infrared really. He just said the Chechens are fighting the yes, but Chechens involved in putting homosexuals in concentration camp or Hello? Is someone there? My name is Hyatt. Are you blind too? What is with I'm all the blind ladies? In search of the distant light. If I might be so bold as to ask, would you donate any Shabriri grapes in your possession to what me? What is it with you guys? My eyesight has been weak since birth, you see. I can't tell which way I'm supposed to go next. But when I eat one of those grapes, I can feel a distant light in the back of my eyes. It will lead me to my true duty as a finger maiden. Sure. Oh, many thanks to you. Now I can feel the distant light once more. You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. Okay. All right. Grapes delivered. That doesn't Crazy make active. them Nazis. Wait, that wait, 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 no, no, listen, Nazis. listen to me. Whether Even or not, if those wait, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. Whether they're Nazis or not specifically doesn't matter because- Okay, then just say wait, that. let me finish, let me finish. Jesus, then just say that. I don't care, so, shut up, I don't care. Okay, I'm trying to finish my point. I think that people who put people in concentration camps, minority groups, should not be involved in any active combat zone anywhere. In fact, they should not even be allowed to hold governmental yeah, positions. Yeah, yeah. So and I'm not finished, and so you should stop talking. And so with that in mind and knowing the when you guys talking about all these war crimes and everything that was so terrible i think it's weird that we can just look past the fact that one of the pe the people involved currently in fighting the ukrainians are the same people who shoved people in concentration camps in chechnya also it's weird that you are fine downplaying your guys nazis you admit i guess they are nazis fighting on behalf of your guys Wait, side. you'll downplay your own nazis way. and upplay the other side's nazis because mm -hmm. your nazis again are inconvenient it's inconvenient that there's nazis on your side and so Let's, instead of being like there's no nazis on our side where these nazis yeah. are fighting a campaign I know, of the nazification also, one last thing. One last thing. One last thing. I was almost done. Also, Jackson. One last thing. One last thing. Jackson. He doesn't talk too much. It's my fault. One second. Where do I go down there? Okay, wait one second. All right, I, I do want to give Infrared a, a brief chance, and then Destiny, I know you have a point, a couple of points you want to make. So, Infrared, I want to give you a, a yeah, chance. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Maybe so the first thing is very clear. Most. Dylan, I know that you're in favor of a Nazi, pan-European supremacist, but LGBT-friendly yes, uh, ideology. I already yes. know that, okay? But the fact is, I agree. It's probably true that there's uh, homophobia among That's in Chechnya. Me. They're very much more in favor of more traditional values. That's their business. Traditional? As far as concentration That's their camps business? Are concerned, I've seen no fucking evidence for that, uh, throwing them in concentration camps. But even if I were to grant you that that was true... I, lo I love the juxtaposition of Dylan Burns. We get it. You're a Nazi supporter. Meanwhile, I have seen no evidence of these alleged concentration camps you speak of. I, that's That's very good. That still doesn't make them fucking Nazis who want to exterminate whole peoples because of their fucking nationality or their race or their ethnic origins. You what seem to think, think that's not as bad or that's some kind of equivalent, right? But I don't think that's a fucking equivalent. I don't think having a conservative country, which I don't agree with um, persecuting sexual minorities, I just don't think that's on the same fucking level as being a goddamn fucking Nazi. You seem to not fucking care about that distinction. Now you're saying that I'm downplaying the Nazis on the Russian side because they're not convinced. Convenient. Never mind the fucking fact 
that in terms of the objective significance they have compared to the fucking Azov Battalion on the Ukrainian side, they are nowhere near as fucking relevant. They're not you significant. Gotta have they are Ow. marginal. Crazy. They are marginal. This. Yeah, okay, I thought it was. Well, infrared. <laughs> Object <laughs> infrared. One second. If Objective. Hold on, infrared, hold on. I just need you to. I, I thought it, I, I did sense something too. It did seem like your volume uh, jacked his shit up. up. Like 20, oh, yeah. 20 seconds ago, it did seem like something. Yeah, because you're making everybody louder than me. No, no, I promise I'm was, not. Was that Russian yeah, propaganda? I, mean, I don't know how to do that. I yeah, mean, these Nazis people said, in my chat well, are, are telling you that. I, people in my own chat are telling you Infrared, that. I can give you 20 seconds in terms yeah. of wrapping up the point, but then I've got to yeah. kick it over to Steven. D Dylan, Dylan is making the claim that, I'm in, that it's just inconvenient for me rather than the actual reality being the fact that the Russian nationalists and the Russian neo-Nazis are completely marginal in the Donbass, whereas the Azov Battalion are not. He mentioned something also about Lukashenko's out of con con comments that were taken out of context. Lukashenko is an anti-fascist, 100% anti-Nazi, 100% anti-Hitler. We can actually get into the nitty-gritty of what Hitler. proves and backs that up too. You took some statements he made Steven out of context. Waiting, Steven's waiting con context? Wild, context? Yeah, so just to reiterate again, Bosch the Azerbaijan Haas, is not context? making up the brunt of the fighting forces in Eastern yeah, Ukraine. Yeah, in Eastern this, Ukraine, they were. This, 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 is a, this is a small battalion of like less than 3,000 fighters. The idea that the these people are making up the majority of Ukraine's forces. It's just not true. And even of the Azov Battalion, only a minority of these Nobody people are neo-Nazis. Even 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 of the Azov Battalion, a minority of these people are Nazis. There are problems there for sure. But this this claim that there is a broader Nazi problem in Ukraine, I mean. At this point, maybe there is. If we're defining Nazis as people that are pro-LGBT and pro-Semitism, I don't know what kind of Nazis these are or, or what makes them Nazis. Aside from earlier, you said they kill people, which I You're guess a everybody on the planet racist, is, it, is, it, is, it, is, a, is everybody's Nazi. I don't. What the fuck like, is it? Hitler wasn't going for like pro europe Yeah, what the? F okay, Destiny's calling this out. Haas keeps saying pan-European supremacist. Okay, I gotta tell you guys, Hitler was not a pan-European supremacist. There were parts of Europe that Hitler actually thought pretty negatively about, if you can believe it. There's no such thing as pan-European supremacy, okay? Pan-European is... Pan-Europism? Pan... whatever the fuck the term for it is... is, um... largely just a dog whistle brought up by American white supremacists as a way of alluding to some kind of racially homogenous Europe. When they talk about pan-European, they don't mean Slavs, they don't mean like Greeks. They don't mean Spanish people. You know, like the what what they're what they're thinking of is like essentially like Hungary, Poland, Germany, Switzerland. You know, maybe France. That's what they're t talking about. They're talking about well, who they consider white people. Maybe not even Italians. Yeah, even Hungary is iffy. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Eastern Europeans have their own versions of race. I, I'm pretty- Eastern Europeans basically invented their own form of super racism, which is really interesting, you know? You've got, like, the Albanians and the Serbians and shit, and, like, no one else knows what the fuck's going on, but they have very strong opinions. <laughs> yeah, the fucking Balkan. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna get fucking wrecked if I alt tap while fighting this guy. I really, really like these giants. Their large health pool and high damage mean that even after your weapon has been upgraded a good bit and you're used to fighting them, they remain a decent challenge. Their stomps come out quickly enough that you can never just like sit there and lazily attack them. You always have to pay attention, even though they're like one of the earliest enemies you fight. I think one of the reasons I like them is because I can't remember any other time there's been such a common large enemy in a Dark Souls game that you can practice against, basically. Like, you, the largest I can remember that were, like, habitual enemies were basically, like, Dark Souls 3 Ringed City, the headless dudes that had, like, the black hole for a head, and maybe the trolls in Dark Souls 2 early on. But, like, these guys are way bigger than either. Much, much, much bigger. European supremacy. Yes, um, he was. Okay. I would. Did like you really just say he wasn't going for European supremacy in his last fucking speech? Mm -hmm. He talked about how Europe will be triumphant against the hordes coming from Central Asia. Europe, Europe, goddamn fucking Europe, Europe who? Europe who? 
every member of Europe, every state that he invaded. Yes, Europe, he was a European supremacist. Genocide. Only he after he Western killed European all the non. Oh, Western, Western Europeans. I just want to. I just want to. I'm just and everyone else to be subhuman. Would you? Would you? Would you? Would you? Would you, would you characterize the Nazism of Germany as having a large anti-Semitic component and having a large ethnic component, where that ethnicity is not defined as European? The, I, Aryan is literally Western European for the Nazis. That's what? Literally what it is. What? Okay. I would like okay, to Okay, because you're a little bitch Jackson, and you never Jackson fucking defend what you Jackson, just said because you're fucking like wrong. Jackson would like to let's have Jackson. Go ahead. I, I would like to just say one thing really quick and then a, and a broader point. So, uh, Destiny seems to be just hyper focusing on the Azov Battalion, which what? is, uh, you know, making up the brunt of the violent, uh, you know, aggression against the people of Donetsk and Luhansk, which keep in mind that war, 81% of these civilian deaths that have taken place there in the past three years uh, took place on the side of Donetsk and Luhansk. Uh, but as I mentioned... Wait, what is this? At least five missiles have hit area of U.S. military base at Erbil Airport in Iraq. Unconfirmed rumors that these are Iranian missiles. Look, I'll I'll wait for more info to come out. You know, the people who literally led this coup are the ultra-nationalist right-wingers, many of whom, but not all, are uh, anti-Semites and encompass this neo-Nazi, uh, you know, ideology. You seem to be leaving that out, and, um, you know, I can guess why? the motive why. Why but, do you keep... Uh, to, to, get to, a, to get to the broader point here, Destiny, a few minutes ago, you said that it's not okay for, and I'm paraphrasing, so if you want to rephrase this after the fact, go for it. It's not okay for uh, troops to come into a, what you recognize as a sovereign country, um, and, you know, forcibly bring about a change of power. I think that's, you know, we can both agree, right? So why is it that you think that it's okay, I guess, for uh, these far-right paramilitary groups um, that encompass this neo-Nazi ideology uh, to hijack the Maidan protests, uh, huh? massacre people on February 20th when the protests were actually dying down and people were going home, what? Um, and cause all of this violence to spiral out of control. And then when negotiations are going on between some of these neo-Nazis oh and the Yanukovych government to try and bring about pre-term elections to restore some order to the Ukrainian government oh <laughs> with Yanukovych, um, the neo-Nazi factions, again, like Andrei uh, Perubi, who was the leader, the commandant of the Euromaidan protests, uh, he ordered upon his paramilitary individuals uh, to continue blockading, to continue, uh, you know, holding their ground, so to speak, and holding their ground throughout the entirety of this protest meant raining down hellfire upon both protesters and police to incite more violence. And there's been countless Remember when Maidan Putin leaders explicitly called for Yanukovych to uh, be more violent to the protesters? The it was oh not God. members of oh the Ukrainian God. police who were doing Dylan this. Or Destiny. Wait, so do you not believe that Yanukovych ordered his special military people to fire on protesters? You think that's just completely and totally bullshit? Oh, 100%. One? There's no evidence, and in fact, the Ukraine's Ukrainian Ministry of Internal Affairs literally this. says as much. Where, where do you, why do you say there's no evidence of that? Uh, because the Ukrainian investigation into this, the special investigation into this, actually um, did not make any initial charges against people who were involved in this. And the, again, in the- Wait, they didn't make charges because this, Yan Yanukovych wasn't even given guarantees that he wouldn't be charged. That's why he fled to Russia. Unlike the, unlike the prior prime minister that was able to have a transfer of power because he was guaranteed he wouldn't so, be charged, Yanukovych wasn't given any such so guarantee. That's why he left the country. Point here as to why I'm right? Not really. Also, earlier you said you, you keep citing the fact that you keep you keep you keep you keep citing the fact that you keep citing the fact that in the east. Wait, hold on, wait. I barely, I barely talked. This guy's like rambling so much. I haven't responded to half what the shit guy said. There's no evidence for this, so I'm gonna answer. I promise we'll come right back to you, Stephen. 
So you said, uh, you know, there's there. Uh, I, why do I think that there's uh, no evidence for this or whatever? So the Ukrainian investigation, uh, they didn't find any. And in fact, again, there's been several Maidan leaders and activists who provided testimonies while four, 14 self-admitted members of the Maidan sniper gotcha. units admitted in media interviews uh, to the Maidan massacre, uh, to sniping police and protesters. Uh, several former members of the Georgian military testified hey, that they and other Steven. groups of Maidan snipers in Hotel Ukraina, where these bullets were coming from, um, and the investigation right. actually proved that bullets were coming Thanks from here. The they stuff. just never actually went to the extent Dude, of saying who was in the hotel. So you'll notice how his claim went from there's no evidence at all that Yanukovych ordered his police to fire on protesters to well, charges were never brought against him for doing so because he fled the country to well, snipers fired at other groups of people too. And notice how he, uh... Uh, Wait, do you want to short, short, Steven, short period of just time? Just because I, I did give you a chance to answer the question. It's, a, it's insane. Back well, there's a lot of evidence. So if Steven wants the full answer, you know, he should be willing to get the full answer. Um, so, gee, there's like 20 different things I haven't responded to. So, who, who's, yeah, who's yeah, finding the goalposts? Who, I'm not changing the one that's adding a new goalpost at the end of every single sentence you've said. You literally right? said so, what's right. I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't even respond. I can't even respond. Okay, hold on. Wait, let's. Okay, are we doing this right now? Is this what we need to do to, to get the conversation going? Um, okay. So, so who do you who do you side with? Who's ruling? What organization? What government's ruling do you side with that said that that police did not fire upon protesters during the Euro, the Euro Maiden? What what uh, what side do I side with? No, who, who's investigation Why the people are you of Ukraine, who's, of course. Whose details, whose findings? Not a one-off media what interview that was posted oh, no, no, no. on Russian I'm or not. I'm referring Bug. to the testimonies given by uh, the snipers themselves. Testimony to who? Why would you only agree? Why would you only look at some testimony? Why wouldn't you look at the overall ruling of the Ukrainian uh, interior ministry? Because the Ukrainian investigation did not find, they did not place fault on either side. Though according to the testimonies themselves, Whoa. they admitted fault for doing this. It's not that they didn't place fault on that. They explicitly said that Yanukovych Whoa. ordered his police to fire upon the protesters. Do you deny that they said that? They did not. They did not place blame on them. No Why do you keep saying place blame? Who's saying place blame? They, they made. They made the statement. Their findings said. He means did, didn't they, bring charges. Who did against. they charge? Yeah. Because yep. You don't I don't know, know if it was their. I don't think it was their role to charge anybody. And Yanukovych already fled the country. It was their role to place charges. They didn't place charges because they couldn't find evidence that the police did this. Um, in fact, the, the the reason why Destiny, Destiny, why can't you why can't you give me an answer for this? There were testimonies. There were testimonies that the Ma Maidan, uh, you know, pro or the Maidan organizers uh, were the snipers who shot at police and protesters. Uh, we have forensic oh. examinations as well by government ballistic experts, which Can't determined that about a dozen cases uh, that the protesters were shot from Maidan controlled structures, including the hotel. A forensic ballistic examination um, found that uh, the bullets killed protesters did not match bullet samples from the police. I mean, I could go on and on. Why are you Why are you making uh, assumptions without looking at the evidence itself? He's citing because I, would, I feel like I would rather rely on the overall rulings or findings of the entire committee rather than just trying to go off of some of the testimony that you might have found given by some of the officers that may or may not have been involved. Well, I could go on more, but you have to understand that this committee, at the end of the day, is being controlled by the coup government who actually carried out ah, this there operation. we go. But early so rather than citing the conclusions the committee drew, only citing individual piece of testimony, and then, oh, well, it doesn't even matter anyway because it's all controlled by the coup government, by which he means, you know, the, the non-Russian-backed one. Earlier you had no problems going by information that comes from the Russian State Department about stuff going on in Ukraine? As, I'm, as I'm, I'm not Nazis talking about that right now. I'm talking about guilty. this. No, talking about I, I, I'm actually looking at this investigation fairly and honestly, and you made the accusation that it was police from the Ukrainian, uh, you know, security services that fired down. Now you're getting caught in a little, uh, you know, a little problem here. So you're trying to deflect back to earlier discussions. Why did you make that claim without evidence? Why did Yanukovych flee the country was it when he wasn't given a guarantee that he'd be prosecuted? If he didn't it was a coup wrong. government why that was going to fucking why do you keep trump shit up. Subject, it was a coup Destiny. government that was led why, by the guy that he was going to make his subject. prime minister anyway. Destiny, I, I, like, wanna, I just want to say one dude. last thing on this point because dude. clearly you're refusing to acknowledge the uh, reality of the situation. Most people consider 
uh, what took place on February 20th when 49 individuals were killed as the most controversial hours in any European conflict since the end of the Cold War. It was the precipice for this coup. It was what launched all of this conflict uh, into action, so to speak. So the fact that it was a false flag attack led right. by the uh, coup uh, protesters themselves, the, the militia organizers themselves, to try and get Western backing and to try and incite more chaos in the streets when the protests were dying down is a very, very important note when you look at the... Destiny's not doing well in this. I think Destiny doing is, is, is doing is doing as well as he can given the circumstances. This is the reason why I've grown really bored of doing these types of debates. Um, Hinkle and Haas, like you, like in terms of talking with them, you really might as well just like um, be reading a Grey Zone article or like Russian State Department propaganda. They're not actually there. They won't learn anything, respond to anything, adapt their arguments. Like how many times have they in this conversation responded to stuff that Destiny or Dylan have said with information that isn't actually relevant they just repeat what sounds like a talking point dude dude what the fuck there's not really much of a point to conversations with them unless you like screaming they're not even a good rhetorical test really except for i suppose a rhetorical test for talking while being shouted over which you know, that thing never stops attacking with its little claw. Broader context of all of this, and the fact that after the coup that took place because of this, uh, that is what sparks the increased aggression in the Donbass, and that is what also sparks the increased aggression against protesters in Odessa who are fighting back against the coup government. There, you have no evidence to support any of that, that there was Western backing to any of these people, that any of this was a false flag. Everything you're going off of is complete conjecture. The testimony of one or two, I've got testimony in the United States of Bigfoot and UFOs abducting people. The testimonies of one or two people doesn't prove any of the claims that you're making. Um, let's just actually go to US involvement in this because I have a lot of uh, quotes Talking from points actual from diplomats Zone. themselves who admitted that they were funding to the made on coup organizers so um first of all we have victoria newland and jeffrey piot who were two u.s diplomats u.s ukrainian diplomats at the time who have a viral leaked phone conversation admitting to the fact that they were hand mm. hand picking the coup governments they said in that conversation where uh you wanted to send you the link to it no because i've already read the entire conversation they don't and admit what did that, that conversation ever. Say? They, they never said anything about hand picking the new government it wouldn't even really? make sense really? really yes really Give me the okay, quote where they say that. To, do you want yeah, to give me the quote where you? they say that? Yeah, read it. Okay. Uh, we have a leaked phone call here. They said, fuck the EU, referencing to the fact that the EU was not being aggressive enough during this whole situation. Uh, and then we said, uh, oh. or we have a Victoria Newland here say, uh, I'll get Yats, it. referring to Yatsenyuk, is the guy who's got the economic experience, she said, referring to opposition leader uh, Arseniy Yatsenyuk, who backed the devastating uh, neoliberal policies that were demanded by the West. So they were discussing whether or not Yatsenyuk was going to be an effective leader in the new government. And they were saying, well, maybe this person should be directly outside of the new government with Yatsenyuk. And, and Destiny, guess who ended up becoming the Hold new Hold on, real quick, because you keep the pivoting, the asking questions and commentary. Destiny, None of this Destiny, shows them picking a leader. New... As you said, Yatsenyuk was already the opposition leader. Where, okay. where is this who idea became, that they picked who him? Who became the prime minister? What do you, for after, after what do you mean? Coup? Yatsenyuk? Yeah. Look at who was already the opposition, the opposition Wait, leader. He, job, he was already the opposition leader. He already had 370 plus votes in the in the parliament. What do you mean? Andre Purebi was the uh, Maidan coup leader. He was the real opposition leader. No, no, wait. Where is the right evidence that he was handpicked? How was he handpicked? Hand Wait, why? because he didn't he have he the became, backing in parliament for it. He became the chair of parliament. No, no, no. Why could he have not? No, the no, no, you're t pivoting. Where is the evidence that this guy was handpicked by the United States? That he was pushed Victoria by the United States? Newland. A conversation about this guy saying he would be good when he's already the opposition leader is not evidence of him being handpicked by the West. Well, there was oh, that's, that's not a sign in that, that conversation that they were going back and forth. Good. Yeah, they're going no, back and forth not, discussing no potential. Yeah, there, you have no evidence. This is everything you do. 
Just Destiny or uh, How is that no evidence? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Okay. There's Let's evidence see. in the phone call of two diplomats right. saying, man, this leader in this country would be so awesome. And yeah, that other one sucks. Do you think that's evidence so of, of, a, of an admitted, assistant to... It just so happens, Destiny, that she admitted that the U.S. Uh, stoked this uh, coup with $5 billion in previous years to lead these regime change operations. Wait, where did she admit that? Read that quote. Read that quote. Read that quote. Read, read that quote where she admit that. Okay, I will. Give okay. me one second here. One Can we all sit in silence while he reads and wait for it? I, I want to hear that quote where she says, the United States sent $5 billion in aid to stoke this coup. Let me pull it up. And if he pulls it up, will you admit you're wrong? Yeah, if he has that quote, I would be interested in hearing that. We don't have to be silent. I'm sorry, Dylan. Go ahead. Give I'd me also one be second. Interested I will exactly read exactly where the $5 billion went. I would be interested in that too. Hey, hey, hey. In the meantime, folks, our guests are linked in the description. If you haven't uh, already clicked on there, you can hear more from them. Also, I would just like to say that there is tons oh, of evidence of the Chechen government putting gays in concentration camps from multiple news outlets, testing. Well, that's not, that's not what we're debating today. The well, only well, thing but can, the thing is, you disputed it. The only thing it. you'd you have to acknowledge. It, so I'm just acknowledging yeah, that. Yeah, that yeah, happened. yeah, yeah. Well, we can debate that another time, but for now, what we're saying is that that is not the same as Nazism. Okay, but is that of concern, Nazism. do you think? Nazism. If I was Chechen, I would be opposed to it. Wait, there was a road Chechen, down? So, do you think that fighters who put gay people Am in concentration blind? camps should be active in combat in Ukraine? You cannot, you cannot, you cannot make the racist claim that all Chechen soldiers... Wait, no, soldiers wait, no, I'm not saying all Chechen camps. soldiers, but the... Uh, yeah. No, there are officials who were involved in that fighting in Ukraine right now. Which ones? You know the one that you're like, Dylan, you you liar, you've said this guy yeah. died. Yeah, that guy is alive. That guy, alive. right? Yeah, you're saying he's alive. That guy, he's alive. He There's specifically was okay. I'm alive. saying okay. That guy, let's say he's alive. That makes your argument even worse. Yeah. That guy was involved in putting homosexuals in concentration camps. Okay. I'm so uh, stupid. I haven't seen the road any runs right down There's here. There's tons of evidence for it. It's not even Jackson, Jackson, not disputed. In case you had a quote, Jackson, I don't want you to feel left out. <laughs> Yeah. So, Victoria Newland, U.S. Assistant Secretary of State, estimated in 2013 that the USA had, quote, invested more than $5 billion in 1991 to help Ukraine achieve the future it deserves. Or, sorry, 19... since, si no, 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 since 1991. <laughs> since 1991. So, since 1991, they've been investing money to have the coup in 2014? Do you yes, not think that the Ukrainian citizens... Wait, 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 what year? did... Yeah, wait, wait, what was the quote again? Can you say it one more time? Yeah, let's see the quote again. <laughs> since invested, the USA had invested more than five billion dollars since 1991 to help achieve to help Ukraine achieve the future it deserves. Okay, just so you know, 1991 is when Ukraine existed. That's when the Soviet Union fell. So, the the claim five billion was given to fund the coup is now well, five billion was given since when Ukraine became a country. So now, more than two decades later, God. I can't believe Hassan is playing useful idiots for these guys. These two are basically just mouthpieces for Russian propaganda, and Hassan basically just does, like, the easy version of that, right? Falling off, yeah. Hassan is in Hasanabi. Who else? I thought Azan backed off this claim. As long as people are claiming that, like, NATO expansionism is what led to this, they're doing Russian propaganda. And, um, even Zizek said so. Um, Slavoj Zizek. Um, I posted this on Twitter, but he recently wrote an article, just like a week ago, on how, um, he wouldn't even consider people claiming NATO expansionism was what led to the invasion as real leftists and also compare them to Hitler apologists. So fucking based. What does that mean? How does that mean that, that they're achieving a coup? That could mean, hey, we're giving them money well, to help Ukraine Victoria get better. Considering Victoria Newland had leaked audio recordings handpicking But, that, but, that, but they didn't the handpick. We've already and talked also, about how that's bullshit. Also, also we saw that uh, he didn't the, national, the National Endowment for Democracy's president uh, said this about U.S. support. He said just two months before uh, the Maidan protest broke out, he, um, he wrote that, uh, quote, the opportunities oh. are considerable uh, and there are important ways Washington could help. And this was in reference 
to uh, the net. This was in reference to the coup. This was the president. Sleep of the there for is democracy. there's nothing During specific. The it's all protests. vague. It's nothing specific. Yeah, well, he, by the yeah, way, so here's the question. Where did Wait, the five million dollars go? By the way, yeah, where, where did the five billion go? go? Yeah. Where did so go? who received who received the money the to start the coup? The it's not the goalposts. This is where we're at. We're in the middle of the field. Like the thing is, I know about this because Putin said Putin said exactly. Putin Putin said this specific thing. And the thing is, the five billion dollars did not go anywhere near a coup aid or anything the five billion dollars went to where did, where did it go okay. then Dylan? so i know i'm asking like you vanity? you you where did you, it go no, then I'm you, jackson. Did jackson that's so fucking funny dude hey can you prove can you prove that this money went to assisting your coup oh yeah well where else could it have gone <laughs> ukraine is a whole country it's a whole, it's a whole country what's this jesus christ can you can you can you prove that the 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 five dollars that you donated to the PCRF didn't go directly towards buying anti-Jew bullets for Hamas militants? Well, where else could it have gone? Is this really what the current state of online debate is? Um, not not what I'm doing. It I I listen. I have a lot of fun listening to this, at least for now, before Haas gets all shouty. But like. I would be so bored having this conversation. It's literally like talking to NPCs. There's no point. You said the five billion dollars. No, Jackson, you Where said you it. Think Jackson, you said it. You said it, Jackson. Jackson, Jackson, you said it. If you said it, you tell me where it went. I asked you. You can pretty easily logically infer that the fuck. Okay. Doesn't it embarrass them? No can hear each of you make your point. So, Haas and Hinkle so love the attention. Order, we'll if okay. being Wait, exposed which, uh, as dumbasses was bad for their uh, career, they wouldn't have a career so, okay, right Dylan, now. And then uh, Haas and then Jackson. So Jackson, you talked about the $5 billion. We're saying it did not go towards a coup. I don't see no evidence of this. This is something Putin repeated in the speech, which is a lie. So I'm asking you, since you referenced the $5 billion and you have yet to show any evidence that anybody was handpicked, where did it go? Where did this $5 billion go for this coup? So Dylan, I know you're a fucking dumbass and you mm. can't put two and two together here. Uh -oh. There is logically nowhere else the $5 billion <laughs> could have gone. So you don't except know. You don't know. There's, it couldn't, so Jesse, logically speaking, yeah, you it don't couldn't know. have gone anywhere else. $5 billion from 1990. Wait, wait. Let's do you know the chance. history of Ukrainian American relations since 1994 yeah. to 2014? Yeah, you Dylan, really think that $5 billion dollars couldn't have gone there in normal Jackson, aid? Jackson, you don't think? Jackson has something. You don't think? Yeah, me Jackson, I'm going to give you a chance to respond. Yeah, let him leave like a little bit. Oh, you might be on mute, Jackson. Let me let me unmute you. I think I put you on there earlier. Okay. All right. Can you guys hear me? Yep. Yeah. Um, the Financial Times. You're right, Dylan. Sure, Don't mind I don't me. Have the exact bank wire transfers and, and shit. I, I, you're right. I, I'm, I'm just completely making all this stuff up. Financial Times, though, reported that uh, groups like New Citizen received this funding, and they said that they reported that um, this money played a big role in getting the protest up and running, referring to the Maidan protests. Uh, this was led, of course, by Andriy Perubi, who's a notorious neo-Nazi within Ukraine that, uh, you know, called like upon the firing of protesters and police uh, in the protest. Uh, oh, that was uh, a lot was, of damage. There was one other point you made, and it's slipping my mind right now, oh. but, uh, oh. yeah, I mean, that, that, sure, we don't have the exact bank wire transfers, but you can't, you can't entertain the fact that this all happened five billion dollars here we have these phone recordings we have all of this going on we have you know chris murphy john mccain victoria newland jeffrey Pierre oh going yeah it is an npc they don passing out the cookies is, to the protest we're doing he's doing the gish gallop let me finish oh my god dude it's just a million yeah, 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 it's like when one falls apart 15, 15, 15, 15 more seconds fit, jack throw a fit every time i get interrupted you interrupt so let me finish did he just thumbs down you cannot entertain or you you have to entertain the fact rather that the fact that the funding began in 1991, one year directly after the effort uh, upon NATO-aligned countries to bring Ukraine into NATO, that, that lines up perfectly with what the overarching mission at play here is of Victoria Newland to get the anti-NATO forces within Ukraine deposed from government, that's Yanukovych, and to get pro-NATO uh, individuals in government to join NATO. 
Okay. Move it over. So okay. I gotta I gotta respond to that because the thing is the five is also what one a weird year fight. after the collapse of the Soviet Union I and love Ukraine him. went into economic ruin. And the five billion dollars is something Putin stated as well. That's referencing to the entirety of US aid to Ukraine from that date to 2014. So uh -huh. you're telling me that the entirety of US aid to Ukraine was made up of just going to coup stuff when you have no evidence, no financial documents, no transactions, no direct evidence of any sort, then any of that went towards resources towards a coup. It is reference to aid. It'd he be named like it. No, he didn't. He named, named nothing. The group. You, I named you new left because you're a little bitch. You weren't here. No, he, he didn't. So where did it go? Where did it go? And what did the coup, what did this group do that did the uh, revolution? What did it, it do? Organized, helped organize the protest. It was what, the, the five, so the five billion dollars went to what? What? The, 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 so I'm saying that Financial Times reported, uh, again, what? you're right, I don't have the exact wire transfers, I'm not in these people's bank accounts. I'm just saying it's a little bit <laughs> suspicious mm -hmm. that we have, suspicious. we have Victoria Newland saying that we have five billion going to Ukraine since 1991. Victoria Newland's office uh, happens to be the same uh, office uh, in which uh, the uh, National uh, Endowment uh, for uh, Democracy is located. Uh, they share an office in Ukraine. Uh, we have Financial Times reporting that New Citizen received some of this money. Sure, probably definitely not all $5 billion of it. And it just so happens that these protests, which were Western backed, um, and we know according to uh, this phone call, they were at least sympathetic to the uh, you know leader Yatsenyuk, who became the prime minister directly after the protests. Uh, this stuff all lines up, and it just well, so happens. Oh yeah, these. So again, I know I keep saying this, but like ideologically, these guys are identical to neo Nazis. I've said this so many times, and I'll never stop saying it. The way they construct their arguments is identical to Holocaust denial and Jewish question peddling. It's it's one hundred percent like there's, it's not even it's similar or it's the same line of thought. It's literally just what is the target of their thought process. That's the only thing that distinguishes them from those groups. Absolutely wild. Um, oh, well, maybe I don't continue up this way. Maybe I head into the swamp like this because of the line. Yeah, yeah, because these point directly to the next waypoint. I kind of lost the point. Why do we care about the West supporting pro-West protests? Um, yeah, well, the line they use is that because Western governments were in favor of protests against an authoritarian government that was anti-West, that means the Western governments directly funded them. It's like, look, it, the level of conspiracy bait they engage in is more than sufficient if they were in Germany in 1932 to justify everything the Nazis did, you know? The thought processes they apply, the selective reasoning, the willingness to trust state propaganda in one hand and then doubt all evidence on the other side, the unwillingness to, like, hear out arguments, the uh, complete inflexibility of thought, the dogmatism, all of these things would have been per they would have been very good little SS officers back then, you know. Um, that's why I'm going to try to not use the term tanky anymore. I'm just going to call them fascists. No, not even red fascists. They're not, they're not, no, just fascists. Why even think of fighting Okay, so all we've seen, all we've seen is that since in 1992, after the dissolution of the Soviet Union, the United States and Ukraine signed a bilateral deal with the United United States was sent aid to Ukraine to help them for a variety of things. They identified three strategic objectives. It was to create a broad-based market economy to help build a participatory democratic political system and to assist in social sector reforms to ease the difficulties of transition. That's where the money went towards. The government themselves, huh. the governments themselves were the ones that were organizing and receiving the aid. Oh. The idea that you're trying to pretend that this $5 billion that's been allocated since 1992 somehow went through black market channels. If it did, then we wouldn't be talking about the $5 billion that the United States said that it sent. This would be black money or dark money that's going through other channels that you wouldn't have any idea about. Or rather, it would have been established by like a WikiLeaks leak or something like that. The idea that official US aid that was agreed upon by the Ukrainian government, that it, that it was going to end up in the Ukrainian government, and then somehow the leaders in the Ukrainian government ah. decided to allow that aid, that they as a government agreed to accept to be funneled to groups that would eventually form a coup, is ridiculous. A lot of this aid was far- Yeah, it's true. This aid was like, all above board. I mean, it's just the U.S. provided aid. We do that all the time. So, is are we to assume then that you know Yanukovych, the pro-Russian guy, had the money coming in? He was like, "Yep, gotta put this towards that fund labeled 
do a coup in 2014 fund that they told me not to look into too hard, you know? Like, uh, gotta, so I, you know, gotta take all this money and put it in the coup budget. I don't know what that's for, but, you know, hopeful. Ho hopefully nothing bad. <laughs> reaching it wouldn't surprise me if you could identify one or two groups okay i'm so sorry one more thing i just want to say that i just had a bit of a brain blast you know and i want you all to imagine if we lived in a very slightly different universe where the azov battalion was still ukrainian they were just one of the um, Donbass region like pro-russian separatists it's not like that's very hard to imagine you know oh you know russia is the true inheritor of like the the aryan legacy ukraine is cucked out to the western government or whatever like and if we lived in that world uh, Haas and, um, Hinkel right now would be defending the shit out of them. Oh, yeah, I don't agree with everything they do and say, you know, but, like, they're not, like, you know, literal Nazis. They don't have the power to do literal Nazism. You can't judge the entire Russian support in Ukraine based off just, like, their extremism. That's fucking ridiculous. What? But would you blame all, uh, uh, Palestinian people for Hamas, you know? And also, like, there are no actual reports, you know, I've heard, like, stories that they have, like, the Nazi flag, but, like, there are no actual confirmed reports. And here are some testimonies of people saying that they're very nice, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know the Separatists have a bunch of Nazis, just not the Azov Battalion. That were involved in protests or coups that received this aid. Yanukovych probably had a lot of personal friends and probably people in the government that received that aid as well. The idea that that aid was used to, to back some sort of coup because you have a recording with two U.S. diplomats talking about a preference in leadership in a relatively volatile country. I don't understand why you think you can link these two things together. I can tell Big. you right now that the United States sends so much aid all across the world. I could probably Shut find aid going to every yeah, single fucking 20, country 20 that's seconds. ever had a revolution, that's ever had a coup, that's ever had any. Any, any sort yeah. of political turmoil and, and find two U.S. diplomats talking. Okay, so uh, the express, fuck expre yeah, Expressing, yeah, expressing, yeah, expressing yeah, it. Oh, can I finish yeah, one statement? I gotta finish, yeah, I gotta finish. Yeah, finish. Yeah, yeah, finish. Yeah, yeah, finish. Yeah, yeah, Haza said finish. that. Well, she, I, 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 he went on Zerka's stream and said one of his biggest reasons for supporting Russia is because they oppose Western dependency. Like I said, fascists. So to be clear, so the evidence we have is that since 1992, the United States has sent $5 billion to the Ukrainian government, not to secret groups, not to protest groups, not to future coups, that the Ukrainian government itself okayed this bilateral uh, agreement well, to humanitarian aid. Though, and the citizen. only evidence that we have, and the only new evidence citizen. that the only, I, let me finish, the only evidence we have well, that lying, this so went to right. fund a coup is two like U.S. diplomats about talking it's about, like talking on the phone, expressing <sighs> a preference for some leadership or failure of the EU to act on something. Okay, That's it. Let, let, let me go now let me go now okay because this is actually really fucking simple so first of all there's like many prongs to the fucking stupidity did you just lay it on my fucking table now the first thing is that you actually contradicted your little friend Dylan here because Dylan the fucking liar wow. just sat here and the said liar. that the five billion dollars was an economic aid to Ukraine no it fucking wasn't what because aid? Newland herself who publicly denies uh, funding the Maidan coup in the same sentence she utters denying it said Map. that the five billion since 1991 was there to promote democracy and we know what that fucking means it means promoting NGOs civil society groups and forces within the Ukrainian government that are aligned with the US now you're trying to make this out like you know it's absurd that they would fund the Ukrainian government that's later going to be overthrown the thing is the whole of the Ukrainian government wasn't overthrown there are elements within the yeah, Ukrainian isn't, government isn't that, that economic were against aid? the president at that time the coup was actually against the president, not the entire Ukrainian state itself. And even during the uh, presidency of Yanukovych, before the 2014 Maidan, Ooh. there was still a division of uh, spheres of influence within the Ukrainian government between the Americans and the Europeans on one hand and the Russians. It was not a Russian puppet government by any stretch of the fucking imagination. It was still just as divided. And that $5 billion that was given to, uh, to the Ukrainians since 1991 was going toward the forces that ultimately would culminate in the Maidan. Now, Jackson literally gave Jesus. you a concrete fucking example. I could give of another two, Haas. No. Yeah, I, 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 of a group. Like, okay, that received let's... funds from this five billion 
that participated, that was pivotal for the, it helped organize protests for the fucking Maidan. So the whole All point right, is that this five billion uh, for regime change and democracy exporting that the U.S. was giving the Ukrainian government, which I reiterate, Bill the fucking liar claimed was economic aid when it was not. Oh, really? It was political. So can I get a commitment aid. on it? Can you okay. give me a commitment that none of this money went to economic aid? No, no, no. You're shifting the goalpost. Wait, no. You're I want to hear. The, oh, you're well, shifting the ah, goalpost. There it is. Some you, of it, you, some of it may have had Jackson. an economic okay. component to it, on, but uh -huh. it was primarily to promote. Got to finish up the sentence. Okay. You made it seem like Dylan. it was primarily gonna, okay. about economic so, aid. So, number one, that's not that's not even true. Okay, that's not even true. Oh, it's not true. Yeah, number one, 1. 1.1 billion of it went to economic growth. 2.4 billion went to things like military assistance, border security, human trafficking issues, international narcotics. Sorry, not to interrupt Dylan spitting or anything. In case anyone's wondering, the reason why I'm beelining a little bit more here is because um, doing a full exploration of the map on stream would legit be like 100 to, to 150 hours of gameplay. The way that I play, which is pretty methodically and slow. Plus, I'm looking at chat, responding to chat, you know, I'm not exactly rushing through anything. So what I was thinking I would do is just move to kill bosses, like big story stuff, and then I would be much more thorough while playing off stream. Because this is the kind of stream that I generally like playing off stream. Vosh, we're in it for the long haul? No, you can't be. I want to play this while relaxing on my own. <laughs> Unless you're okay with me racing ahead on my second character and being familiar with these bosses by the time I get to them on screen. What the fuck is up with these dudes? I think what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to try to complete story components first on stream and I'm going to try to beat the game like that and then off stream I'll play the game much more thoroughly on my own time and then after I've completed the full game both runs I'll do new game plus on my second character which will be much more leveled and I'll um I'll play that one whenever I want on stream you know, so, like, it won't be, uh, continuous. Like, I might place eight hours off stream, then eight hours on, you know, like, whatever I want to. Since it's New Game Plus, there's no expectation that I not be familiar with all this stuff. These little dudes are creepy. Sounds good, or maybe a challenge run on stream. Oh, I would love to try a Soul Level 1 run, or something equivalent to it. Abatement, law enforcement induction. That's actually I'll the majority Jackson of it. it that, the majority of that, is not promoting democracy. It would actually be labeled under promoting peace and security when you talk about things like human trafficking, which is a legitimate. Then issue. tell Newland let me that yourself. Let me, finish, let me finish. I'm just telling you the exact <laughs> money amounts, where it's going, and you're rejecting it. I'm telling you exact money. And the thing is about that, human trafficking, it's. <laughs> After the collapse of the Soviet Union, there was a lot of issues when it comes to children being sold into sexual slavery. There was a lot of issues when it Which came Which the to CIA is involved with. Hold on. Okay, I Bro, he, he, wait, he can't just keep screaming into his microphone jacked up as loud as possible. Like, you wanna, you wanna like, cry about- I'm trying- okay. Thank you. So- Jesus. Okay, so, back to the issue. This is why a lot of this money went to Ukraine. It went to things to deal with things like human trafficking. It went there to deal with economic aid after the economic collapse post-Soviet Union. All, some of it, of course, some of it went to 800 million it's of it so went to pretty, governing, just, governing justly and democratically, and 400 million went to investing in people. We can get in. I just want to say, by the way, really quick, it's important to understand, all right? The reason this game is pretty is not because of graphical fidelity. This is art design, 100%. In fact, I would say you could probably make a game almost this pretty on, like, um, PS3 hardware, like that level, if you if you maintain this level of graphical quality. The only thing here that modern tech necessitates, I think, is the uh, draw distance. Um, I don't know if a PS3 would allow you to see the world realized in this way at these distances, but excluding stuff like that, just in terms of sheer fidelity, this game is not built... This game's beauty is not built off of, like, uh... It, or, I should say, it does not necessitate, like, modern, top-of-the-line stuff. A lot of this is just artists. The work of artists, you know? Vosh, honestly, it looks generic as fuck. I have no idea how on earth you could believe that, Lucius.
How sick would it be to play a game that looks like this? Like, that has this general artistic, uh, I don't know what you say, um, flavor? But with Nintendo 64 graphics. How sick would that be? Like, obviously you wouldn't be able to have detail like this, but I feel like it would be just fucking beautiful. Oh, hey, Chris Reagan. Yeah, art design trumps graphics every single time. Not even close. Trumps it every time. Um... Skyrim, it looks like Skyrim. Does this... Okay, you guys need to play new other games, okay? It looks like Skyrim in the sense that you're on a horse and there's a field. I have no idea. It's like... <laughs> Guy who's never played any video game other than Skyrim. I'm getting a lot of Skyrim vibes from this, uh, from this Elden Ring game. Also, it's not, it's not just that, um, honestly, I think that Skyrim and Oblivion are pretty ugly compared to Morrowind. Morrowind, in terms of its graphical capabilities, is abysmally bad compared to Skyrim and even Oblivion, but in terms of their art design, like, Skyrim is pretty unimaginative. Like, the only reason Skyrim looks good is because it's modeled off of parts of the world that look good. But if I wanted to see that, I could look at Google image search results, right? Like, the artists were not... Same with Oblivion in a lot of places, you know? Morrowind had, like, a real artistic, um... Yeah, I don't know. Pigeon! Pigeon, what are you doing? Yeah? Shout. My god! Pigeon. One more scream. My gate won't pick it up. Oh yeah, I think that generally speaking, a lot of the modern World of Warcraft areas have pretty great art design. Woo! Oh, okay. Vosh, there it is. That's what I mean by generic. If you think WoW looks good, no wonder you like this. You think WoW area zones look generic? Okay, you just have bad opinions in general. There are a lot of criticisms you can levy at WoW, but the idea that their zones look generic... It, yeah, the art team behind World of Warcraft is one of the few things that's keeping up the level of quality. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, go touch Grace. ...into specifics if you want to break that down, but there is no evidence in the five billion of this, of the five billion dollars, any of this going into black sites or anything of this sort, the majority of this money didn't even have to do with democracy necessarily. We gotta go um, into Q&A shortly, but I know that Jackson, I think you wanted to say something. So yeah, uh, I would like to say something. So we also have the fact that uh, at the start of the Maidan protests, uh, the three new TV shows in Ukraine, that uh, news TV shows that were covering the protests and working with opposition, were uh, .TV, um and there was there was two other ones. Uh, let me see if I can find these here. Um, but while I find these, I also want to note that uh, these three TV stations uh, received funding from the Dutch and U.S. embassies, as well as the Renaissance Foundation, which was funded by George Soros. The other two were <laughs> Spillno.tv and... They can't and, stop. They and can't Peco stop TV. with the dog whistles. That. 
And George Soros, during the coup, uh, the Maidan coup himself, admitted, quote, I set up a foundation in, Ukru in, in Ukraine Ukru. before Ukraine became independent We're of Russia, of and the foundation has been functioning ever since, it ever since, and it played an important part in the Maidan events right now. And then the third point, because again, you've alleged that I can't provide what? evidence for this. I've also provided the new citizen organization, which was involved in the coup. We also have Yevin Karas, who is the leader of Ukraine's neo-Nazi terror gang, oh. C-14, which again, helped lead the coup. He was the guy who said that if it were not for the 2% of neo-Nazis that were active within the Maidan protests, it would have been 90% less effective and successful. He said, quote, we are now being given money, so much weapons, not because as some say the West is helping us, not because they want the best for us, but because we perform the tasks by the West, uh, because we are the only ones who are ready to do, uh, and we have, wait, sorry, because we're the only ones who are ready okay. to do them, uh, because we have fun, we have fun killing and we have fun fighting, uh, and they like, wow. Yeah. Let's see what's gonna happen. That's can what I, they let's, okay. let's can, I, can I do? Can I do a thing? Because we're going into Q and A soon. Let, let's actually say, if Dylan will allow me, let's actually grant all of this. Let's say that there was a coup. Um, let's say that there was some revolution for some reason. Um, future leadership is still maintaining a, a lot of popularity throughout most of Ukraine. Let's say that all of that happened. Okay, but it was a coup. It was illegal. All that shit. What right does that give Russia to invade Ukraine? Oh, that's very simple. We should have gotten that for the start. So we talked about the balance of security architecture within Europe, which Ukraine was planning on upsetting with its plans to fucking join NATO. But that alone, you're right, doesn't justify an invasion, which is why Russia kept trying to negotiate with its Western partners for some eight, nine years about this issue, leading to fucking nowhere, to, to the point where they finally tried to negotiate with Ukraine also about the issue of the Donbass uh -huh. to settle a peace. And Ukraine signed the Minsk agreement to have a ceasefire in the Donbass. As, early, as recent as January of 2022, Ukraine made it very clear that it had no intention to implement the, um, the Minsk agreement, which said that they would lead to the destruction of our country. And we had to sign it at gunpoint by Russia. Now, finally, Ukraine's continued attacks against the people of the Donbass, they're what amounts to basically a genocide, the constant shelling of civilian infrastructure and the daily terrorism experienced by the people of the Donbass, by Ukraine's armed forces and the Azov Battalion. Uh, Russia decided to step in finally and recognize the republics. And when those republics became sovereign in Russia's eyes, and Russia did this, by the way, to Wait, can stop we just, the can violence, we do this simply instead of rambling about the entire history of the, violence. we're gonna when those When those republics continued to be shelled and attacked after they were recognized forward. He's just sprouting up history. Yeah, he does this every time. He can't answer a question. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. This is the so I like the uh, I like the framing here. Of course, the Minsk Accords were essentially like forced out of Ukraine at gunpoint. So was Minsk too. I mean, literally, like Russia was mad. Russia was mad that the uh, puppet leader they had installed for Ukraine um, got ousted. So in response, they go for a more direct method by just funding military secessionist groups. You know, um, and then they're like, "Hey, we can stop the fighting. All you have to do is sign this agreement, which essentially gives like." you know, territorial sovereignty to this area that we're already trying to get terri territorial sovereignty for through military force. But Ukraine agreed to it. And then Russia immediately broke the Minsk agreements, both of them, because they never ha pulled their fucking separatist troops out of the area. The Minsk Accords required both groups to remove their, um, their forces from the area, but Russia was never willing to. Oh, God. Is that what that does when you throw the thing and it spawns the magic bolts? That's sick. Those grenades are insane. Yeah, those are cool. Fucking answer. Russia's, it, Russia it is it. justified. Russia is justified for no mm -hmm. other reason than to protect and guarantee its own security as a country, as well as to. So my, yeah. So my question the then is, so as my well question as is, to protect the people of the Donbass. So my question is, why does the security of Russia supersede the security of the Ukrainian people? When you opened this because with the, the quote about how the security of, the of one people, country, one second, sure, let's hear because from the Steven. security of the Ukrainian people was never under threat by Russia. It's, <laughs> it's NATO who is tipping its balance in the. Opposite how is the direction. security of Russia under threat by NATO? 
How is the security of uh, Russia under threat right now? Sure, NATO has a history of disrespecting the sovereignty of other countries and invading other countries. Like Russia does right now with Ukraine? This is a fucking self-fulfilling prophecy. Russia's doing what it's doing in Ukraine to prevent NATO aggression against Russia. <clears throat> Russia has no plan on forcing So why, why can't Ukraine others. have legitimate Russia security? Russia doesn't export why? its system or its values. NATO does. It's that why fucking... Russia at the Soviet Union. Wait. How can he claim Russia isn't exporting its system and its values when the main propaganda line that they're using is the denazification of Ukraine? The primary pretense of, um, th uh, of their invasion is we will change the values of Ukraine. They had to lie about that, of course, you know, but still. Also, remember earlier when Haas was like, oh yeah, the Chechen people do put, like, you know, they put Ks in camps, but isn't that their business? And now he's like, okay, well, the Russians have to intervene to protect the people of the Donbass region. Very hands-off when it's his genocide, um, you know, and actors. Very hands-on when it's their alleged genocide and actors. Oh yeah, Demon Mama, I'm doing most of my experimentation on the character that I have in the, um, uh, that I'm playing off-stream. But I'm probably going to, um... In the new game plus, I'll try like a magic run where I do magic the whole game, and I'll do a faith run and pyromancy and all that stuff, you know. Um, I do also think it's incredibly funny that Haas can't decide between which justification he wants, whether it's Russia's defending itself from NATO or Russia's trying to protect the people of the Donbass, you know? Because those are really kind of mutually exclusive, right? Like... You can't say, we're invading this country to prevent a preemptive threat, and also, we're invading a country to defend the people of that country. Those are, those are, that's like an offensive and a defensive justification. They kind of contradict. It absolutely has in the past. Russia is absolutely into The Soviet, the Russia history. is not the Soviet Union. And second of all, the Soviet Union did not fucking export its system by military force. No, it the, didn't. It absolutely did. No, it, it fucking it didn't. Absolutely. Name a single example of that. All three of the Baltics, at the very least. The Baltics were not taken by the Soviet Union to expand its system, but because it was a, a form of revanchism for the former territories of the Russian Empire. The countries not were invaded, had their parliament disposed of. What? Wait. <laughs> Simple map, check an inventory. They, we, they weren't invading those countries. They were simply reclaiming their, uh, their imperial territory. Okay. What is this map? It's in the last menu. Here. I'll probably stream for just a little bit more, and then I'm going to end stream and play Elden Ring on my other character. No, I, I, I have to eat and get work done. But I'm also going to do that, don't worry. And then took votes and held referendums to join the Soviet Union. Sounds similar? Like Crimea. Wait, Russia, well, the Soviet Union is a huge about? history You're of doing this. Republic referendum, 96%. Wait, yeah, not, crazy how after you get invaded. Crazy, crazy. What the fuck hold on, wait, hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Crimea. Let's talk about Crimea. I can't even finish, I can't even finish, I can't even finish my question. We have, I have to say that it was in the world. Let me finish my question. It was. I have to cannot say that. It was. I just spoken for a while. Let me quickly finish this point about Crimea. 15 seconds. First of all, the people of Crimea made the decision first. And then the Russian military came. Dylan's been waiting for a long time. Do they were, a, they declared time. independence before. Okay, so what I, what's really interesting about the Crimea thing is we keep bringing up the referendum. Jackson, can you tell me what were the options on the referendum? 
Oh, the He's not going to answer. He declared independence before Why would you ask that question? question? He'll never an they, they never answer questions. No, I'm asking Jackson a question. People. I'm at, no, I, that's not, I didn't ask. I didn't ask. What were the two options? What were the options on the referendum? What were the options on the referendum? What were the two options? What were the two options? They'll never answer. What were the two options? I don't care how you want to construe it. No, answer my question. What were the two options? It was legal. What were the two options? The Crimean government. You're not answering my question. James, can you make him answer my question? Earlier James, can you make him answer my question? Dude, hold on, Ari. James, no, 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 he's not going to answer my question. He's dodging it. Okay, so the reason, the reason, the reason, it's my, it's my time to talk. If he's not, he's not answering my question. Second. Okay, so I do want to give, I want to go back to Dylan. This is why I find these conversations boring to have. Literal, like NPCs, subhuman intelligence, not capable of thought, or I should say, politically expedient to not think. Um. No point at all. Look at these floating little doohickeys. Give him a chance, and then we'll give you a chance to answer the question, Jackson. <gasps> infra. What's uh, up? I've already declared no, independence. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. Give me a break no. here. So the reason why Jackson Get isn't back answering here. my question is because the two options, neither of them was joining back with Ukraine. So there was because no they already. The moderator sucks dick so hard with that much interference, everyone will mute him. Well, apparently the software they're using doesn't even allow the host to, per like, admin mute someone, so they can just unmute themselves, so I don't really know. Listen, I really like James, okay? I really, really, really like James. Um. However, um, it will be noted, okay? that a lot of people who claim to moderate, or like they do moderation for debates or whatever, don't. And by the way, Dylan does this too, okay? And like proper moderation, people are like, oh, well, you know, here's a proper debate with structure, okay? Proper debates with structure are, the moderator will fact check, and if you even slightly, uh, you know, tread out of the line of your like speaking time, you get shot down for it, you know? Um, but that, like, no one does that online because online, like, blood sports and people losing their shit are always way more memorable. Real debate that is as structured as possible, that is thorough and intensive and engagement, um, is, uh, just not as interesting to most people, so people don't go for that. Um, I tend not to go for that. Destiny doesn't go for that. Usually the only times those actually happen are when both participants are acting in good faith. And what are you going to get for that out of, like, these people, right? Um, what, what James does could be more accurately described as facilitating and hosting the debate. Again, this isn't an insult, it's just the nature of the medium. I, 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 shut up, please. Jesus Christ. So, the reason why a lot of people, including like Crimean Tartars and others, boycotted... They already declared independence! Jeez Louise! The reason why the, <laughs> the reason why they had, oh. they had already declared hey. independence. Hi. James, I can't. I can't do it, man. I can't. You can't because you're a fuck. <laughs> they declared independence, but since K, they openly rejected I the government. He's muting himself. All right, well, let's go to. Uh, I didn't. I didn't get, yeah, I didn't. I never got to finish. Magic. Liar. So, so, I didn't even get to say what I'm Liar. lying about. You didn't even let Let's me lie yet. Chance. I'm about to because lie. Because they had lie. already yeah, declared independence. Right. Let me lie. Okay, let me tell my evil Western lies. In that, okay, and then you can, like, talk later, okay? So, my evil Western lie is that neither of the options on the referendum was to join Ukraine. It was A, join, Ukra join Russia, Russia formally, or B, be an independent state heavily influenced by the Russian government. Is that Those what it said, Dylan? Is that's that not exactly what, what That's not the exact words. It was a lot... Okay. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Jackson, 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 I never... James, if I can't talk, I can't talk, I can't debate if I can't... James, I can't debate if I can't even talk. I can't... I can't... I can't... I can't. What was, okay, hold on. Let's, what was the question that you had, Dylan, that we do I don't even today. have a question anymore. I'm just trying to say something, and they won't let me just because let me what I'm saying is uncomfortable for them. No, I don't care. I don't care. I'm not making it up. Give me 15 seconds. No. Give me 15 no. seconds. To be fair to Dylan, he had waited a long time. 
Dylan, we'll give you a quick so, 50 response and we gotta Jack go Q&A. Jackson did not know what the two options on the referendum was. That's why he wouldn't answer my question. And or it was inconvenient to him, but neither of the options oh. was whether you, Crimea could join back with oh. Uh, with Ukraine and the problem is that I, I, I don't care has please for the love of God They had already James, oh, yeah. this, Okay, we're going to the Q&A Wait, he no, no, James, let me get this last point in. No, I've been I trying to get it in. I never got the finish. Okay. Let me get one last no, 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 no. Ten seconds. Just give me you, you can it's ten seconds. Difficult. Give me ten seconds. I don't know. Just find a way to fit it into one of these questions. This one coming in from Ozzy and Cox says, Putin destroyed Russia, and there is no way back from them without Putin stepping down. Let me hit you. Russia apologizing. European Union, European Union should join NATO. Putin will be European Union should join NATO. One of what? The worst global leaders ever. Save the kids. One addition. Uh, Russia should also pay yeah. reparations. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'll answer that question very easily. So Crimea had already declared its formal Wait, that independence. That wasn't the question. That was not the question. Cry Shut the fuck up, you little bitch. No, Crimea no, had already no, declared. Okay, let me Crimea. Go. <laughs> I have to keep this civil. Okay. Crimea had already declared formal independence Would they before do that? the referendum. But they do that under the Ukrainian constitution. They didn't need to because it was overthrown ah. in a coup. The Ukrainian president ah. was overthrown in an illegal coup. So, so the constitution name? is in the air and it's out of the so, fucking window, so, you fucking dumbass. Wait, is that how that works? You get to break all laws team, after a leader has been replaced? Not when there's a coup that's suspended. Oh. Oh. Do you Turn think that not when there's a coup? The next one. James, why do you keep fucking me, but you let you let him ten minutes, but you keep fucking me? Why do you let Dylan talk? Him one. Do you, think that a you don't fucking mute him one. Let me fucking respond to it. The constitution is thrown into the air. When there's a fucking illegal coup. You you like, oh, it one shots you. His timetable, his timetable isn't even accurate. The Declaration of Independence for Crimea took place uh, after. Dylan's after literally acting like a coup doesn't violate the sovereignty well, of a given. Can I wait, that? wait, 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 real quick. Just because right. Husky's screaming this. The, the Declaration of Independence from Crimea happened after the Russian invasion. The, the, no, the fact didn't. that he's trying to say that it happened prior no, to that didn't. isn't even true. No, it didn't. Russian troops were on the ground in, in February. In late February, Unmarked, Russia was pushing into Crimea. Unmarked. The, 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 oh, they were the pushing into Crimea. What the, the fuck? The Declaration of Independence was... Right, Pelix81 says, The only reason anyone knows about these two is because of Destiny and Vosh. They should not conduct debates in which their star performers can't get away. Well, I will say... I do think that, like, the only people who benefit from conversations like this are Haas and Hinkle, right? Like, it, it denigrates people like me, even people like Destiny, just engaging with it. Like, you can say it's entertainment or whatever, but, like... I don't know. For for me, like, it would come... Like, like I don't know. I Like, these guys are fash. I imagine if, like, Dylan Burns... Okay, well, he does kind of do this with that dipshit CRT or whatever his fucking name is. Um... Like, imagine if you just had, like, a Holocaust denier who was, like, the fun, loud, ha-ha guy, you know? And it was like, ha, ah, oh, wow, that just one-shots you, even that. CTV. Yeah, yeah. Um, but if you had, like, the Holocaust denier guy who's, like, a big meme and you just bring him on and he's, like, really loud. The Hake Report? Yeah, well, they kind of do that, right? The funny thing is, in spite of my reputation, I actually think that I don't do the whole irresponsible platforming, blood sports, it's all for fun, like, no responsibility given type thing. I actually think Dylan does that more than I do, quite a bit. Maybe even more than Destiny does. It's all part of, like, the kayfab, like, hippy-dippy show... You know, uh, what do you call it? Um, like, wrestling promo match shit, right? Like, you know, a good show needs to have a good villain. But, like, are these good villains? There can't be good villains. It's antithetical. Villains can be good in media, you know, uh, because they're constructed on a narrative basis. But, like, I don't know. I can't believe this fire one-shots me. That is fucked up. This probably isn't uh, mitigated through fire resist, right? It was on March 16th. What, what does it mean pushing into Crimea? Go ahead. 
As in Russian troops rolled through the area with little resistance and took over the entire fucking peninsula. I wonder why there was little resistance because they had already expressed and declared their intention to be fucking independent. Even Please if wait. they had, sections of your country cannot just vote themselves to join another country that has military bases in that hey. peninsula aggressively positioned to go and invade you. It doesn't well, they, work they, that they, way. They, they, that's not how to join point, another right? debate? Can we do that? This one coming in from Can Fight says, just wait, I never got to respond to Jackson's question <laughs> about sovereignty. I want to answer it. Super short and pithy. Uh, okay, so Jackson asked me if a oh. coup violates the nation's sovereignty. It depends on who actually does the coup. If the people of said nation overthrow the government, I believe they're allowed What's to that do that. Nothing? And so that's what they did in that instance because the Yanukovych regime was, was morally corrupt and worked against the interests of the people. Sorry, there you go. There was no vote for the coup, Dylan. That's not how protest. The majority. That's not how who works. They had an election afterwards. There wasn't even a majority that wanted to join the EU. Not even at the time. A majority. I think we need another mute here on the Moscow man. Let's please. Now they have a majority. Gentlemen, I both Dylan and Haas. I've got you on mute because you do have to get the next question. Destiny has Destiny. His torso is big, but he's short. Like Haas is person. shorter than Destiny, it's been proven. Very important info. Gosh, gosh. Looks like Sid from Ice Age. He has the body of Sid from Ice Age. He has the body of Sid from Ice Age. That's also true. <laughs> well, he used to at least. Hasn't he been working out? Ken Fights has just got posterity. Russia just attacked the largest nuclear power plant in Europe. A violation of the Geneva Convention. Also, Russia has a huge Nazi problem. In parentheses, Limanov literally made not Ooh, I'm fucking him up. Never even got to talk about Alexander. Oh, the fuck are, we are, you are we allowed to answer that question? Are we allowed to answer that question? Limanov is a fucking anarchist. Limanov is an anarchist. Have you read anything about Limanov, you fucking dumbass, asking that question? No, like, if you answer like the question, a bat switch and you're drowning everybody else out. I, like, your audio is just off the chart. I'll give you a chance to respond. Does James not Jackson, realize he's doing that on why, purpose? Why is it? Why is it that uh, do you know, it. I can, I feel like we should be condemning oh, no. uh, you know crimes against humanity and war crimes on both sides of this? That's why I support the International Criminal Court investigation into war crimes that uh, have taken place here since 2013, which the media seems to be leaving out uh, of the announcement of this ICC investigation and the preliminary. Uh, examination into war crimes and crimes against humanity here. But the thing is, if you're going to talk about uh, war crimes and crimes against humanity and civilian casualties taking place right now in Ukraine, uh, I should have finished the battle with the headshot. About them taking place in Donetsk and Luhansk I'm a coward. And the ones that have taken place there overwhelmingly um, in this in this uh, conflict that has been waged asymmetrically by Ukraine, by the Azov Battalion in particular in eastern Ukraine um, since 2014. This, people seem to leave that out. Yeah, wait, can we all agree that that would be a good idea then? I think that Russia should pull its troops and respect Ukraine's sovereignty. And then after they do that, we can have an independent investigation to see if they're no, ready. No, I would actually, there's two things. 25th of February, it protesters it blocked the Crimean parliament. I would on Steve, I'll from a bank. And their will to be, be independent. So that's that's the, wait, that's not even on topic Destiny, anymore. You're still rambling about the According to the preliminary examination led by the International Criminal Court, who launched the first war crimes and crimes oh. against humanity here in so, this conflict? I okay. Can I? I want to actually address two things. Oh, that was a question for Destiny. But I wanted to. Can I agree? Because with he you? made I'm a statement. To, that was a question to, for Destiny. Jackson, I want to agree with you. Destiny, me, who did it? Can I? Okay, I won't agree with you then. Okay. Destiny, who did it? Do you even know? Do you even know what the Thank first you. war crimes or crimes against humanity committed here were? We should let independent. Organizations you go in and investigate. We should let the nothing that you're saying Jackson, justifies you a Russian invasion. It's, so it's, so it's so easy. It's so easy. It's so easy. Whatever fucking Minecraft bullshit. It's so easy. It's so easy. Yeah, go quote random U.S. What diplomats that you saw on an RT post about how that ju how that proves that there was like I'm, Western I'm involvement in a coup. I'm the international criminal court investigation into war crimes, which you claim to care about, okay. but only when what is what is every single international court say about what is every single what is every single international Court say about Russia's annexation of Crimea? What does the I, international the, you, you, No, 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 let him answer. Let him answer that. Let him answer that. Let him answer that. Let him answer that. Oh, that's a great question. Yeah, that's a great okay. question. Okay. Who recognizes the Russian annex? Enough. We're not even halfway through this video. Enough. Takes a while for the game to close properly. Let it. Let it. Let it be. Let it be done.
Um, my summary. You all know how I feel about Hinkle and Haas. I think that Dylan and Destiny were performing really, really good there. Um, really, I do. I think that was a good showing from both of them. That gets even worse. I'm sure it does.